Oh, excuse me. I couldn't see that. Oh my god. Generators. Gotta get them generators in. <laughs> what the fuck is going on over there? <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, fuck, too hot. He's still baiting. What? I'm getting so little of this conversation that I have no idea what's going on. Come on, it's wonderful. Oh, sorry, we're back. I don't think I muted my headset. No, you no. definitely did not. Oh, fuck. <laughs> sorry about that. I heard I'm you smacking your meat. Well, you know. While in a conversation with Sometimes your brother. Like that's something. what alarmed me. Well, no, that. Oh, that may have. Mm. <laughs> that's okay, you don't have to answer. You can just let that one hang. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no Please. comment. Please no. don't answer. Like How's Orlando's that? cock in no the comment. Middle of foreground. <laughs> Damn it, Billy! <laughs> <laughs> Are you two uh, filthy apple canners ready to go? Yeah, All right. You know I don't what? can apples. Sometimes it, like, I'm from the friends list, Wait. lets me join the, uh, Wait, the room, and sometimes it doesn't. Hmm. So it took me a minute to get in. Are we talking? Okay, no, I know what you mean now. There you go. Sorry, sorry. Still have a slapping of meat in my head. I don't know why. Okay, oh. we're good to go. Yeah, let's just go. Let's. We're done. We're done with this. There we go. Welcome back to another game of Skyfall 5e. How's it? Uh, how's it going, guys? The week was good. I hope. I bought a gun. You bought a gun. What did you buy? Like an AR? Uh, like a pistol? Thirty odd six rifle. Thirty odd six. Cool. Cool. Hundred percent deer killer. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you said any other percent other than a hundred. Eighty-seven point four percent deer killer. <laughs> Leaves him just on the edge of alive. <laughs> Got to finish him off with something else. Finish him off with your bare hands. Ed. Right, Look right. Eyes. Never mind. I'm here. Sometimes that happens, though. Oh Sometimes, my! Like, I'm if you shoot them and then they just scream forever. <laughs> I Jeez. thought you were going to say scream for apples. <laughs> <laughs> they scream for apples. Hungry for they apples. Can't, can. <sighs> Get the cat! Get the <laughs> cat! <laughs> uh, well, it's good to have you guys back. So I might as well uh, pick up where we left off, which was with you guys all <laughs> clustered into a strange sort of mausoleum in a different world, uh, speaking with a robot. What the fuck do you guys want to do? Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, like, we're trying to save him, right, though, so... Yes. God! <laughs> I'm trying Annabelle to just stabs him. I believe Connor was, uh, had a, a trick up his sleeve. We, uh, we must save this robot. Okay. Gorilla smash. I'll kill myself on livestream if we don't... <laughs> <laughs> Not mine, though, please. I can't suffer another ban hammer. Gorilla wants to smash. Think of the views. Just... So you know, you know. Becky, all right. Becky smash. <clears throat> he was tired last week. Two options. We can uh, ask old man Zurg, the mage from Zar. Where the ever the fuck? Where are you from, <laughs> Edgar? Souls. That place. There you go. For, for someone mage with Zarg. a mind so sharp, uh, it's from San you're Diego. up to the task yeah. of saving this defender dash. What is it? Three. Dash one. Dash one, of course. How could you forget? He's that your was best the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Whoosh! <laughs> um, also, I would need a long rest, and then I could try to <clears throat> remove curse. Are there any fumes involved with the process of apple cannon? No. Okay. It's just water Fuck, and it's apple. Diego wrong. <laughs> and I mean sugar if you want to put that in there. San Diego. I'm just being an asshole. San Diego. 
<laughs> I spelled it right. I don't know how to spell. Butchered that, dude. Jesus. Hey, it works for the D and D world. You're you're the kid who handed in his cursive like fucking homework in grade one with like triangles and squares and shit. Dude, fucking Egyptian. That's what I was learning. That'd be a bad. <laughs> um, I drew well, birds and. You mean hieroglyphics, scenes. right? They don't use the pictures yeah. anymore. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I use. I drew birds Egyptian. and. <laughs> All right, all right, back snake. on track. Back on track, you <laughs> oh, motherfucker. Dude, I'm out of it tonight. I don't know what it is. Shushy time. Shushy time now. <laughs> Done. All right, uh, Kalik, well, you might as well get to resting. Are you guys taking a short rest? A long rest. I need a long rest. A long rest. rest. Oh, okay. I don't know my health yeah, at. we can chill in here, right? You oh yeah, well it's hollow. It's hollow, yeah. Yeah. No, that doesn't hollowed. mean that doesn't mean it's safe, but I would say you know. it's good. No. Okay, I would like everybody here to please make a luck roll as you guys take everybody. a long rest. Everybody, 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 roll a oh, d twenty. Shit, we're Post getting your fucked. results. We're getting. Oh shit! No, rolling. no! Mine fell off the map. It'll reappear. By the way, the lower the better, guys. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's for. good, I got a nine. Perfect. How's oh, a sweet four? <clears throat> oh, I hope. I hope you're right, Billy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay. What the hell? How did I get above a ten <laughs> and no one else did? You candy apple motherfucker. I'm <laughs> right. This place we don't Spread candy all that apple. Caramel over. Wait, I'm gonna stop. I'm not even gonna go further with that. Oh. <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna go further. Shh, child. <laughs> you guys all wake the next day <laughs> after a long rest. What do you want to do? Why are you? Why do I hear you smiling when you ask me what do you want to do? Because <laughs> well, we've been playing games together for a while, so you know when I'm having a good time. Do we like roll for five injury? Five years. No, no. <clears throat> oh, oh, sorry. For, you can roll for your injuries. Please do. What the fuck? What the fuck? Does anybody see this? What's that stuck to my coat? Just, just <laughs> let <laughs> go. It's stuck to my tie. Just let go. It's a, it's Solid. a key card. Ladies and gentlemen. It's like That's when a post-it gets stuck to your dog and it has a manic episode. Sweet. <laughs> oh my god. Nobody you, fucking, got you had a juice box, didn't you, before playing? I told you, you cannot have a fucking juice box. Johnny, they put too much sugar in those these days. Johnny Appleseed. Okay. All right, We're enough for the apples. About apples. <laughs> it's the forbidden fruit. Can't fruit. apples. What the fuck did I eat? In 2018, tonight? you know they have refrigerated trucks now, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You know that I don't care, and I know what goes into those canned apples. Oh my! I'm... You you want to know a fun fact about refrigerated trucks? I'm changing spells. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm checking the necklace. I'm seeing if I'm high enough level for kill self. <laughs> okay. The juice box. The juice box really fucking. Tabarnak. Uh... Hey, uh, le gars, il est primé en tabarnak, là. Oh shit, he's talking German. I mean, Canadian. Or French. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's retarded. <laughs> I'm gonna mute myself. The group has a long rest. <laughs> <laughs> that that feel when you fail your int roll, like what the fuck? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> oh my uh, god, I don't know what I ate tonight. You guys fall asleep Please. here and are able to get a long rest despite the sort of strange situation that you guys are in and the, the surroundings that you've found yourself, um, you know, stuck in. Uh, what do you want to do when you wake up the next day? How's Mr. Death doing? Uh, he is still there, just kind of pissed. hovering behind the, um, the robotic creature laying on the ground. Could I please check the necklace? Oh, 
You certainly can. And I do believe that there is something there. Oh, man. Jeez. Ah, what was the last message that you got? Oh. The portal to Misty Town one? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Because that's why we're here, because it's like right over the hill. So you see that there are two messages. This is the first. <laughs> and you can see that this one was cut off as though someone tried to say too much into the amulet and then couldn't get it out. And then this one. Well, both of the messages are pretty unhelpful. At least they seem that way. Anything interesting? I mean, it says that Valu... Well, one says there's a group that's uh, stuck underneath Harshan. Harshan Keep? I'm not sure what that is. I haven't heard of it. I'll, I'll start checking, like, my world map or something, see if I can sure. find it. You can make a history roll. Ooh, they I'm, prof I'm proficient in that. They say it don't come and that they don't need... Or that they're trying to find a way out. And the other one says... That Valu is unwelcoming is that, to great souls. Is that janked? Uh, looks like a twelve. Yeah, it's a twelve. I'm, a, I'm okay. I'm cool with that. Uh, twelve plus uh, three, fifteen for me. Fifteen. Uh, yes, sir. You know that Harshan Keep is one of three old keeps next to Valu, and you actually know a small amount of history about them. Uh, in that they're all deserted, but they were originally created for a period of time when the Empire and the Northern Lands were at war, and those were used to protect the coast. They've long since been abandoned, and now there's just kind of like uh, like ghost stories that surround the place. Some people think they're infested with bandits, that kind of thing. Okay, okay. Why would they go to Harshan Keep? It's a bit bizarre. It also says they're stuck underneath Harshan Keep. Mm -hmm. It does. Unless they were at in a bar and they were shot up that way. Is that the same necklace that claimed to have been in uh, uh, Costa Costa, Costa Por? Por. Yeah. Someone said something about it. Hmm. Yeah, the supernova one was in Kostapur. So why and... are they heading west? I'm not sure. I think we've lucked out. Um, contrary see? to what Jem's instinct was saying, they seem to be fairly straightforward in their reports. Yeah, to a degree anyways. I mean, they're not even asking for help, so why mention Harshan? Why mention being underneath it? Why mention being stuck? If they're not seeking aid. Something to consider, I think. <clears throat> I'll yeah. look over to Defender 1. Is he looking okay, by the way? He's just laying there on the ground. Looks same as always. Well, his chest is open, isn't it? Yes. Same as always. Same chest as always. <laughs> Fucking ribcage busted open. <clears throat> What's this about Tyrant Star saying head to Kazatov? And avoid the Temple of Ral? Wasn't the um, <laughs> Celestial that they were fighting a Celestial of Ral? I'm not sure. I remember them calling her Celestine, I think, right? Yep, and she was uh, hmm. a part of Rawls' coven. I don't know. Well, the advantage is whatever they're taking care of, they're taking care of. And we have present issues, and it seems like we're doing or progressing more than they are. Um, which spells bad news for a June. So if we can get Defender 1 out of here in one piece... Not only will we break the spell and let the aspect of death free, potentially killing a June permanently, but we'll get a great ally in Defender 1. <clears throat> do you think you're going to be able to do anything, Kalik? 
Uh, well, I uh, switched some spells around. Uh, it's not guaranteed. If it's uh, if this spell that's been put on him is too high of a level, I won't be able to do a single thing. Hmm. At but which point I, I, we can ask for aid. Mm -hmm. I... Let's see here. Today I have... Taking... For third level spells, I'm taking Dispel Magic and Remove Curse and Sending, just so I have some options. So... How many... How many spells of, of that magnitude can you cast? Two. I'm just having options. So if right. I... Initially, I want to cast Remove Curse on his heart. <coughs> Um, maybe some lay on hands at the same time might do something. I hope. I'm not... I, I've seen your work with Metri a little bit with how you do that, but I'm not sure if that's going to have enough strength for it. If that doesn't work, I can send a message to, uh, Zurg. See if he knows of a way. Because I'm, I, when I stepped away earlier... Before we took a rest, I messaged um, the fuck. I'm having an aneurysm. Uh, Bar Jogger? Bar Jogger. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. He he gave us the response that we expected. No. For the most part, <clears throat> he exactly told what me, he did locate, to the dispel, destroy. Good luck, essentially. So locate the what's binding the aspect here dispel it hmm. destroy it um I mean it's tough to go up against Barjargo's wisdom in these matters but last we saw with the puzzle box <clears throat> he seems to be a man with no half measures it's either steer clear of it or destroy it with every shred of power he has so defender dash one looks over at you guys while you're having this conversation in the temple <clears> there <throat> and he says did you say you had a puzzle box we did um it belonged to a june we've come across two though that's right hmm why, is there something of note that we should be aware of? I was shown a puzzle box by the New Order to convince me. I still have it. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the perfect reaction and exactly how I felt when you said that. <clears throat> For some reason, I pictured you in a room, and the the background is just filled with cans and apples everywhere, just <laughs> <laughs> sighing in complete disappointment. Have you ever Grown. gone into it? Yes. Would I found able? within the proof that convinced me, though your new arguments have leaned me otherwise. What's this proof? Inside the puzzle box, I found a study, and interesting findings. I could not invalidate any of them. Their reasonings appeared to be sound. How did you get out? I used the puzzle box. Hmm. Alright, so it came with you? Yes. Wait, ours came with us, right? It did, both times. Uh... Not both times. Well, uh, well, the first time with the mouse situation, I'm talking out of character, obviously, but we we had to give the puzzle box to the girl to get yeah. out of it. Whereas the second time, there was a portal that we could go back to at any time. So the first one had act an actual puzzle to escape, whereas mm -hmm. the second one was way more straightforward. So I, I suspect that they'll change each time. Anyways. <clears throat> um... The last one that we were in had a portal that lets you get out of it. Is this one as simple? The puzzle box went with me 
when I traveled to the other plane, the way out was always within my grasp. Hmm. I was under no duress there, and had free time to study. Now, I've gotten to know Defender 1 a little bit, but he's still a robot. Can I try insight checking him to see if everything he's saying is you can. above board? Mm -hmm. I'm sure the DC will be ridiculous, but let me try. Well, he's not Jem, but yeah, you can try. I've, I've gotten, gotten, I've gotten him before. <laughs> gay ass here. Yo, did your asshole dilate just, just like by three inches the moment you put that on? Just waiting to accept Jem's love? <laughs> tell me. <laughs> don't tell him. Why don't you just put it on? <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> oh, where, did, where did that go? Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, 19. Oh. Uh, you don't think that he's lying. Whether or not you're correct or not, who knows? Right. I'll be honest, Defender Dash One. Um, these puzzle boxes have always unsettled me. Um, You've experienced more than one. I've only yes. had the single experience, and what I've read entails. I did not find it to be an unpleasant experience. On the contrary. Have you gone in it more than once? I have. The study inside is calm, and the information was interesting. I was not prepared to make a snap judgment, and looked over the texts at length. It's still in my possession. If I uh, could make a recommendation, everybody, um, I think it's worth investigating, but... I, I do agree. think that we should remove whatever is on or binding Defender-1 before doing so. I mention it because it seems relevant, and my time with you may be short. I would like to see it. My belongings, they can be found outside of Misty Town. There is a small stump in which I hid most of my things. Which, uh, which direction from the town? He turns to you and then gives you a set of numbers, and you know that these are coordinates which will match up onto your map. Ah. Well, hopefully we can get you out and you can show us yourself. I would like that. Okay, look, I'm ready when you are. Although, let me see if Metric can reach me in this place. I'll, uh, I'll walk away a little bit, and I'll see if I can, uh, whisper a prayer to Metri. Sure. And this is more role. of, like, yeah, more of a general prayer, just asking for his guidance and, and removing whatever is, uh, binding, uh, Defender-1. Alright, Viet Cobb. I'll we'll do a quick, uh, cram session in my oh! book. A six-step rush. Uh, 18. Okay. You go ahead and say a few prayers. They embolden your spirit, but you don't have any divine experience. That's fine. Can't met. I don't have metric speed dial, so. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. I'll go back and uh, kind of rubbing my hands, maybe feeling a little warmth. Uh, I'll get ready for Kaleg here. Um. Well. Oh. I'll look up to the light. I'll look. At Defender, I'll look at Tidge, and I'll cock my head, and I'll be like, Is there anything you think you have at your disposal? Mm. I'm thinking if we can uh, maybe all do something at once. Um, this is more my uh, religious side talking here, but maybe destroying the scalp of a June as a destruction of the rune itself could... I'm not sure if there's any magical merit there, but maybe in the, the symbolism it might help us remove the curse. Destroying one for another. Perhaps. Um, first, though, I'd like to... I'd like to turn to the Avatar. Okay. Um, and I'll show him... I'll, I'll, sh like, I'll show him the, the scalp... or the piece of a June. I'll be like, I'm 
<clears throat> not sure if you would need this or if you have like do you know will you know lo a June's location if you get when you get out or would this help your names mean <laughs> nothing <laughs> what I thought I fucking hate him so much <laughs> this is a piece of the one you seek the next year to take would it help you to locate him Or are you able to find him by yourself? Do you insult me? I assure you it's not my intent. I just don't know exactly how you work. Fuck it. Here. Destroy it if you want. I hand it to everybody else. I'm done with them. <laughs> um, I could probably destroy this if we think it'll help. But as far as like removing a curse or trying to heal him of some, I mean, what healing I can do is pretty paltry. What I what I'd like to try um, is perhaps invoking a smite while it's in my hand, while lay doing a lay on hands on Defender Dash One again. I'm completely out of my element, but any inspiration I can provide, I'll I'll try. Can you do all that at once? Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like quite a task. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know if I can do it quite simultaneously, but within I... a minute or within a few seconds, sure. Right. We ready? I suppose so. There's really not much that I can... Do you want to try disabling, uh, or rather... Dispelling first, I think that was Barjagger's word. Uh, without maybe my inspiration, and we'll see if it works. Yeah. And if it doesn't, then because I, I believe I believe curses are more in my realm. Uh, and I, your I, realm I attempted to dispel the the light initially, and that had no effect. But I could, I suppose, I could try to dispel the the heart. I mean, or I the curse in the heart. Your your experience in in the arcane is is more advanced than mine if you think bar jarger could have used the word dispel as a as a as a synonym for dispel curse let's say or remove curse then well you know. are you sure trying to dispel the heart is going to work like can you focus that hard on something or do you think it might just attack the weakest incantation first dispel any magical effect on a creature or object Suppose it, I suppose that would mean that you can choose it. Well, so I do do what you think is best, Kalik. Um, I'll, I'll, start, I'll, with, I'll, I'll start with the dispel, and then if that doesn't work, I'll attempt to remove curse, and I'll I'll give it my all as well. I will rub my hands together, cast resistance on myself. Okay. Good call. And good call. And then uh, dispel magic, which is I can cast out of range. So I would stand above him and put my hands down, like towards his chest, but not touching him. What are you casting dispel on? Ah, uh, his. It. You said his heart seemed to have multiple effects on it, or is it just one? Yeah, it's like or... a. It looks like a rotating cylinder that has a bunch of magic surrounding it. Hmm. Maybe, like table talk, maybe that just straight up annihilates him. That's my thought. You're just gonna kill the heart. Hmm. Well, he said that's where the, the spell of binding was uh, placed. Bart Jarger wouldn't have any any uh, interest in preserving this thing, though, so. Maybe the curse route is best. I don't know. Whatever you guys think. Edgar will be here for the curse specifically because it's a spell that he doesn't have but he's more familiar with anyways than dispel magic, so. Well, I will try this first and I'll try to focus my efforts on the heart. Or on the... I, I'm I trying not to. I swear to God. Okay. You cast dispel magic on the heart. How far back are you standing? I'm standing right above him. Right beside him? Okay. 
You yeah. see that the cylinder there seems to have all of its magic disrupted. And the moment that you cast the spell, all of it seems to um, almost completely dissipate, leaving just a few magical energies swirling about the area there. The most startling thing, though, is that Defender-1 shakes just a little bit, like he twitches a couple times, and you can see that the um, flame above you with the symbol in it looks like it's flickering, as though it could disappear at any moment. Could I, right after that, um, press my hands into his cap chest cavity and cast Remove Curse? Sure. Uh, you reach forward and cast the spell here, and you can hold the heart in hand right now. You can feel that there's like, there's still a degree of magic to it, but it's not burning your hand like before. And when you cast a spell curse, it doesn't seem to do anything. You're currently holding on to the cylinder though. Um. So the flame above is no longer flickering, still flickering? It still is. And is Defender-1 still twitching? Yeah, every now and then he kind of twitches. Defender-1, can are you still with us? He doesn't say anything. I, I look at Kalik worried. I, I'll look up to the light and look down at his heart, and I'll say, I don't think there's any other option. Can you try dispelling the uh, the, the flame itself? I know you've tried before, but it wasn't flickering then. I don't think he has enough. He he told us he could only cast two of these spells. That's right. You feel something, Kalik, which is a, a gradual return of the magic to the heart that's in your hand. It's like a, a, a rising, tingling sensation, almost. I'll, uh, I'll let go, and I'll just kind of nod at Edgar. I'll look confused. I don't know what he what he's implying. We're running out of time. We have time. Is the the light still flickering above? Mm-hmm. Um Edgar is gonna look at Defender Dash One, look at Kalik. Um, I'd like to unsheath my sword and uh, attempt um, a swing and a smite at the flame. Okay. Uh, you're able to do this, to swing your sword through the flame. As far as um, smiting it goes, you expend some, one of your uh, smite charges here, causing a radiant blast from the sword. But the little flickering flame just reappears after a moment. <sighs> Can I hold the robot's hand? Sure. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> Can I cast protection from uh, good and evil on Defender Dash One? You, you can, yeah. I'll cast it on him. The spell seems to have little effect. I don't know, guys. All roads seem to be leading to the same place. <sighs> no, Kaelic no... got close. Rather than doing the curse, which we saw had no effect, if he cast a spell magic twice, it might be enough. We have to believe that there's an option for Defender-1 that doesn't result in death. I have to believe it. We haven't exhausted all options quite yet. You may not have a soul. Well, no. I don't know how you say it. You may not live as we live, but I don't think that damns him to just die. Look, we have skipped through time. We have lost days, weeks. We're here. What's one more day? Defender-1, we owe him at least that. 
As you say this, the twitching seems to stop, and the flame above Defender-1 gradually comes back. You watch as magic ensorcels around his heart once more. And then he looks over towards you all. Good morning. We tried something, Defender-1, but uh, we weren't quite successful. I lost consciousness, but I don't feel any different. How far away was his stuff? It's outside, outside of, of town. town. Yeah. Like a like a day away or something like that, or maybe like an hour or two outside of town. Maybe like two hours. <clears throat> Are you thinking this binding ritual? There's some notes there. There might be. I just... I, I can't just sit around for another day. Like, it may work, and I, I, I see what you're trying to do. But maybe I just take a Rillo or somebody. I I'm, can I'm tell you right what now. I've left there. It is just a few of my possessions. Most of what I own still remains in Vosnux. I brought with me the puzzle box, as it was proof that this was the right decision, and also a small tome that I enjoy to read, The Philosopher's Cabin. I brought some gold for the road, but it was not necessary. The order took care of the rest. Kalik, Defender-1 has poured through the tomes and the puzzle box himself. Perhaps he has an answer to the ritual. Or the binding uh, ritual that... All I know sure. is the binding was more sophisticated than I could understand. That's not a good sign. There was magic involved that I did not recognize. I, I'll go ahead and hard cast um, detect magic. Now that his chest cavity is open, can I can I take a look? It is the same. You can detect that there's magic coming from him, but you are without schools. Okay. I can detect a uh, trace of magic, but I can't. It's, it's as you say. I can't tell the school. Maybe it's just beyond me. Oh, well, I believe someone within the order is either extremely talented or has found magic from those incredibly talented. Is there any research to this binding ritual in this uh, puzzle box? Not that I found. Can you give us like a, a summary of what was inside there? Or maybe just a, like an idea of what you found? Of course. It's a singular chamber. There is a main table with important facts laid upon it. Dates and locations have been placed on it. If studied long enough, you will come to similar conclusions that I have, I'm sure. Look, if you guys want to wait another day, then let's wait another day, I guess, but let's not just sit around here. I say we go and take a look at this stuff. We know where it is. We know that we can get in and out. I'm fine with that. I'll stay with Defender-1, though. Or or I can. I've, I I've expended... Be... I've expended a little bit. Well, a lot of what I can do already. Um, I'd just be here... Re pouring over notes, to be honest. Are you sure you're okay alone? I always thought we should... I mean, it, it is hollowed and the aspect of death seems chained, but are you sure you'll be able to handle it alone? Especially with your powers expended? I won't be alone. And I'll look down to, to Vendor-1. I'll look to Kalik, uh, Annie, and Arillo. You guys okay with leaving him alone, or... I don't feel great about it, to be honest. 
Hmm. No. All right, it's settled. I'll stay. You three go ahead. It should be a pretty routine, uh, I guess, uh, just pick up and you come back. You have muscle, you have brains, and you have Tidge. Hmm. <laughs> All right. If this is what we're going to do, are you guys cool with that? Yep. It's right. good to be pr productive. Yep. We'll see what we can find. Okay. You three head out. Leaving this temple here, you walk through the rows of graves and eventually head back towards the mirror. Stepping through it, you emerge back into the normal world and feel a sense of um, sort of like a, um, a, a mix of relief and also a, a tinge of terror as well. When you come back to the room that you're in, there's... Um, a return to normalcy as you can see like the color of the world returns and everything but you also step into a place where there's a, a a great deal of evil that just seems to be latent in the area where are you going what are you doing straight shot for the uh stump i think would be the best bet um so can we wreck on did calic mark the place on his map like I'd we say you guys know where I, it is. Yeah. Yeah, I would have okay. pointed that out. Dumb as I may be now, I think I can read coordinates still. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess while we're doing this, I know it wouldn't be quite a, a long rest, but are we able to, to recover our spell slots? Uh... Like a long rest equivalent of spell slots while they're doing this? If you spend eight hours, yeah. Okay. Well, it's two hours there, two hours back, right? Mm hmm. Okay. So you guys go and turn to leave. And as you do, I would like somebody to make a luck roll, please. Good luck. Your life is in my head. Hooray! Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it! Oh, really? That's like three fours in a row. <laughs> okay. You are cursed. You guys turn and head out, leaving this house behind and all the sort of terrible skeletons around it and just the general bad air around the place. As you go to wander out of town, uh, it takes you a couple hours to travel down the streets and eventually get to where you want to get to but you find that the place is not without some difficulty. Approaching over towards the um, the coordinates, I need the three of you to make perception checks, please. Do it. What I... Uh... Oh, nice! Let me see what my modifier is. Thank God for Arillo. <laughs> Arillo and Annabelle, you see off in the distance what appears to be something directly in your group's path. There's a brown bear that is a little bit further into the forest, towards the directions of your coordinates. That seems to block your path. There's food in the path. What do you mean there's food in the path? There's bear. Big Black bear. Orello, do you eat bears? Sometimes. We... If goats aren't nearby, then I do. Are you guys saying that? Anything. Where's this bear? It's straight ahead. Point. In the path. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm... Rub my eyes. I don't know how I didn't see that. Um. Let's see. It blend. It camouflages in with the green. I bend down. Well, that is a bush in your way. I'll hop. Oh, there it is. That makes some sense. <laughs> All right. Well, since you hardly experience getting or with bears, what do you suggest we do to get rid of it? Or no? We can kill it. Or I can befriend it. 
But killing probably would make it easier. Or scare it. That might be the one to do. Scare it. Uh, let's see. Can I? Oh, that's 10 feet. <clears throat> well, I don't know if it's seen us yet, but if we can kind of hide or something. Oh, you know what I could do? How far away is it from us? Uh, probably about like a couple, like maybe 200 feet away. Oh, shit. Is it like, is it right? How far away are we from the cache? Uh, you think you have a little ways to go. Oh. Like, uh, oh. maybe another five, ten minutes travel. We could be trying to be quiet and go around it. Seems like the easiest solution. Aye. Okay. Alright, let's do that then. We'll make, we'll take like a little, a, a sort of wide berth, let's say. Okay. Try and sneak behind it or something. Sure. Make uh, we stealth go, checks for me, please. Can we go downwind of it? Sure. That's possible. Oh, you know, that stealth roll. Some of you are more silent than others, but there's an awkward point when you guys are trying to make the circle around the bear, where off in the distance you hear a growl and see the thing looking directly at your group. It doesn't look like it's charged towards you yet, but you definitely know it's looking at you. You're currently behind some trees and bushes. I think if we keep moving, maybe leave it alone, we might be alright. Okay. Thoughts? We can do that. Or we could sit still for a moment until it loses interest. Alright. Sure. We'll try that. I've never tried it, but apparently you can play dead. And it'll leave you. I've never tried. I just normally kill or befriend. I had a friend, a baby bear cub, and it was awesome. I enjoyed my time with it. It's a little bigger than a cup. Alright, let's try standing oh, still. Maybe okay. get alone. I hear you're not supposed to really look at it, so just like, use your peripheral vision. The bear continues okay. to watch you guys, off in the distance there. It stares at your group. And after a little bit of just standing there, it eventually kind of sniffs at the ground and then looks back up at you guys. I think he's waiting for us to make a move. Great. Uh... Is there any type of way I can find out just by looking at it if it would be friendly? You could make a an insight check if you want. Okay. We're not on oh. the shitty ground, are we? Anymore? No, the you're on the outskirts of the town. Okay. Nine. You are unable to sense the bear's motives. Could I take a step <laughs> away from it and see if it follows me? Sure. As you take a step back, the bear sort of gives a, a grunt and what sounds like a low grumble towards your group. Right. So. I will. How far away is it now? Like, that we've moved a little bit? It's maybe about 100 feet away. Okay. Let's see. 
And it just grunted. Can I read into that? Does it look grumpy that he moved? Or... You can make an insight check. I would stop moving, by the way. Sure. As soon as you did that. There you are. Oh, seven. You are unable to read the bear's motives. Are we still like 200 feet away from it or are we a lot closer now? You're closer. You've tried to go, go around it, um, but you're mm -hmm. maybe like 100 feet away. Hmm. I don't Wait. want to unnecessarily kill things, but if that's the case, then we need to get back to the others. So let's get moving. All right, so I have the scroll. Um, I can make things float in the air for a little while. I can make them levitate. So why don't we try to move? And I'll keep an eye on it. And as soon as it gets within range, or if it gets, if it starts charging at us, when it gets in range, I'll cast it on it. Ted. I feel like there's a fire better use for that scroll than me. I'm the sure there float. is, but we're just. We. I'm sure Arillo and I could hoist you in the tree if you're worried about getting hurt by a bear. I can kill the bear. There's no problem there. Do I you want to just kill, kill the bear? No. <laughs> <laughs> then what are you proposing? I mean, that we get moving. All right, then let's get moving. Can okay. we like move? You guys go to move, and the bear instantly roars at you. Fucking great! It takes a step in your group's direction. I roar back. Oh, oh my god! Can I help Tidge into the tree? Can you make an intimidation check, please, Arilla? Yes. Can I use prestidigitation to make a shower of sparks come from behind him when he does it? <gasps> oh. It boned me. Intimidation. That's a 10. The oh. bear charges you, and I need Fuck. the three of you to roll initiative. <laughs> How so, many sessions has it been without combat? I'm excited. Oh, 12. What's my initiative? Plus 24 over here somewhere. Flesh. Oh, fucking bear. Bears have like Caught. 50 HP. Don't worry, the bear just like lost. It's probably like a goddamn cave bear or something. <laughs> okay, it looks like you're first, Annabelle. What do you want to do? Oops, sorry. So, um, was I still in the process of helping Tidge into the tree, or, like, is, was he wanting to go into the tree? Uh, I don't know. It's up to you, Tidge. Were you trying I to get into a tree? To go into the tree. I mean, bears climb trees, so I don't really see it as being that great an idea. Yeah, it's fine. Just leave me here. In it. <laughs> okay. Well, then, um... It's charging at us, or it's just yes. round? Well, like, oh, yeah, it's okay, running great. as fast as it can towards you three. So it's a, still about 100 feet away, or where, where is no, it No, it's closed in a bit, but it's not quite at you. Can we can we put it... <laughs> it's maybe about, like, 60, 70 feet away. Is this accurate? Can I... <laughs> go about here mm -hmm. and use my action to prepare to dodge. Sure. Is that your turn? Yeah. Okay. Tidge, you're up. Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna back off some. Let's see. One is five feet, right? Not six feet. Yeah, each one's five. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're maybe fifteen tiles away. Fifteen times five, seventy-five feet. Oh, that's that's plenty. I will 
I guess just Eldritch Blast it. Sure. Roll an attack. That's still with the yeah, that's with disadvantage. Everything is with disadvantage. Oh that is a twelve. You hit it. Take that, you bastard. That's oh, uh I have to roll again because it's two beams. Mm-hmm. So one hits, the other misses. Oh, that's cute. Wow. I like that that happened. Okay. Mm. So. Blast is more than a D8, I think. Is it? Is it a D10? It's a D10. Mm -hmm. I should these things. It's the pinnacle of cantrips until wizards decide to release Toll the Dead. Oh, excellent. Two. Two, okay. It's dead, right? Yeah, no, not exactly. <laughs> uh, you hit the bear with the first beam there, and uh, the little crackling bolt of energy seems to shoot a small piece of its fur off, but it is undeterred, still barreling towards you. <clears throat> Great. Is that your turn? That's about all I can do. All right, Arillo, you're up. I'm going to move up upon it. I think I'm right there. 20 is right there, correct? 20? So I think my... Yeah, it's about right. So I think my movement speed is half. Wait. Wait. Are you over-encumbered? Yeah, I'm not over-encumbered, but I'm encumbered. Hmm. I'm only a little un encumbered. Semi-encumbered. I drop some stuff. Yeah. Do I still have those two tents or no? I think so. Unless okay. you got rid of them. I did not. I still have the statue of the woman. That would make me lose some weight, but... This is not the time for that, because that takes turns. I gotta go through my bag. <laughs> okay. So is that your turn? You're just Whoa! moving 20 feet? If I were to throw something from my pouch at it, would we... That'd be an uh, action, I would say. That would be an action. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to pull the battered dead fish out of my uh, pack. When the... What the fuck? You still have that? <laughs> of course yeah. he still has it. I only got it like two sessions ago. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's probably one of my bag stinks. I'm going to throw the battered dead fish at him. Okay. You pull out a fish and throw it across the field, and it lands on the ground near the bear. Is that your turn? I don't know if this is going to work, but I, I it's too bad for us to eat, so I'll give it to him. That is my turn. Okay. Oh! Go figure, it didn't work. My fish isn't good enough for you. It runs past your fish and makes two attacks on you. Mm-hmm. Teeth and claws. Come on, you oh. bitch. Uh, does a 20 hit? Yep. Okay. Let me take some minute damages. I've got health. Oh, I got you with the claws. Fuck! I should... Everything. Uh, you take 17 points of damage, Arillo. As the bear runs up and slashes you across the chest and then bites your leg. And I need you all to roll initiative. I forgot to do something important, and all oh, you yeah, guys probably know what it is. Yeah. It was 17 damage? Yes. Okay, I've got 52 health. I'm still... Uh. I'm still good. Let me roll my niche. And now I hate myself for saying that. Hey! Where's my marker? Hey! <laughs> Time to get revenge, bitch. Well, it looks like it's right. your turn first. What do you want to do? I am going to use my rage. Okay. I'm going to get pissed off. I'm going to make an attack. Fucking 
Get the shit out of here. That's an important die, dude. Well, now it's gone, because it just fucked up my roll, because my die hit that instead of rolling. Does that count, or...? Reroll it. Thank you. There we go. That's for it. That's a little That's better. Mean. That is a high number in the 20s. 25. That will hit. Woohoo! So now, I take my... Where's my die? There. Okay, right here. Ooh. You make this one big, too. Ooh. That's 14 damage. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to make a second attack on him. Thank you for making that bigger. <sighs> Is that janked? It's pretty janked. Oh, Connor, you're dying! I hate it. I hate your die. I hate my die. I don't think that's gonna hit. That's uh, 17. That hits. Woohoo! Oh, that was almost done. That's 11 damage. Okay. And now he makes a DC saving throw of. And if he fails, he takes five. Uh, mine is thirteen. He gets a thirteen, so he passes. Fuck! He takes the lower number. What did you? Takes roll? half. Yeah, he takes half, but I have I did five damage with my lightning. Okay, so, so two. does he take two? Okay. Is that your turn? Yep. All That's right. his way. Annabelle, you're up. Uh, I would like to run up and attack the bear with okay. both my rapier and uh, my dagger. Alright, here we go. Uh, 19. Hits. And I get sneak attack because Arello's right there, is that correct? Mm hmm. Fourteen points of damage. Okay. You run forward, and after the bear's been hit a couple of times, it's then struck with a small bit of lightning, and it looks like the bear is turning to go when you slide up next to the thing and stab through it with your rapier. It staggers maybe another five, ten feet, and then collapses to the ground dead. Okay. Wow. <laughs> All right. Oh, can I skin it, please? Welcome back, Forrest. I want a bear skin cloak. I can really it, want to make a bear can, skin. How, how much do they weigh? Can you just carry it with them? A bear? <laughs> it's like a fucking ton, dude. It's a brown wait, wait, bear. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. How much is it, though? Because I can carry quite a bit still. That's no, true. you cannot carry a bear. At all. I highly doubt you can still carry Here's a bear. Here's what you do. Yeah, I, I'm encumbered up to 340 pounds. If I go over 340, I get heavily encumbered. Here's what you do. You I can, can also toss bear. some shit. What? Can a bear. Can the bear. Well, can right. I just skin it for the uh, lost cloak? Can you carry 600 pounds? Uh, no. You can't <laughs> carry the bear. Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! Can I skin it? A bear? Yeah, if you want to be here for a few hours. Hey, guys. Doesn't that weigh a bunch, too? Well, yeah. A bear, bear hide? Skin. I just want a bear skin cloak. It's gonna rot. You don't know how to tan. You don't know that. You what know the how to tag. You don't know that. My my ancestors, my village used to tan. Yeah, but do you know how to tan? I'm sure I can find my inner tanning abilities. Oh my god, Arlo, <laughs> we, we need to find a book. We, we, don't, even, <laughs> we don't even. We don't even have time for like this conversation. Can I just make like the shittiest cuts on it and then just? Oh. Can I just hack off its leg? You want no, to cut can off I one? hack off its head? I want to hack off its head. Sure. Jeez. And then take that. Okay. Arillo goes okay. over and starts to cut at the bear's head. Fuck yes! I How long is it roll. going to take for him to do that? Do I know? No idea. I've got a halibird. I would just 
like shop at it. You guys have no idea how long it'll take a Halliburton to cut off a bear's head. <laughs> oh, what else do I have? I think I have it's, something else I can use. Its neck is like two feet thick. It'll only take a minute. Oh, no, it won't. won't. We can it's hit take on like the way half back. Half an hour. <laughs> it, it'll be gone on the way back. No, Wait, it won't. How, how far away are we from? It's just a five minute walk, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Tedge. Yeah. I'll come with you if you want to just leave him. Wait, okay, wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. All right. Can I pick up the bear and hang it in a tree? You can't. It's like 600 no, pounds. No, no, listen to this. Listen to this. Yep. And listen to this. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> um, fuck, where is it? Are you looking I... for push drag lift? Uh, I don't know how to navigate your character sheet. I can count as one size larger when determining my carry capacity and the weight I can push, drag, or lift. Mm -hmm. Power build. So I could hoist that thing and throw it into a tree branch. No, because even with trigger. all of your stuff counting as a size larger, it's Fuck! still too much. Can I just make a roll to hack off its head, and if I don't succeed, then... Sure. Roll an attack. It. I mean, it's not like we can Come stop on, you. Come on, at 20! It's not going to give me a net 20. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Woo. You hack off the bear's head, and to Fuck all of you. your guys' amazement, like a guillotine coming down, uh, the halberd actually goes through its like massive neck, and the skull rolls off <laughs> on the ground. The universe is a strange place. <laughs> I'm gonna pick that up. Wow! And I'm, gonna I'm impressed. All right, let's go. All right, I could become an executioner. I'm already <laughs> fucking walking away. You can add a bear head to your inventory. It weighs 80 Fuck pounds. Yeah. Holy fuck, that's heavy. Dude, yeah, if you no take shit. the meat off of it, you could have a pretty sick skull helmet or something. That's my plan. Ha 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 ha. Alright, let's go. I'm lying. I walk. I, I join Annie, leaving. Okay. If you guys hear a gunshot go through my mic, don't worry about it. <laughs> that was pretty badass, I'm gonna say. Okay. You guys wander off. And eventually, you find, around the coordinates there, a small clearing where there is indeed uh, one tree that seems to have been felled. Yeah, and it's got a, um, like a, a rotting sense to it, like the, um, the top portion of the tree has fallen off a long time ago, and the inner portion has rot away, leaving a little container there, and you can see what looks to be like a very old backpack laying at the bottom inside of the stump. A very I, old backpack? Can yeah. we determine, like, roughly how old this backpack is? How long has this fucker been there? It looks like the backpack's been here for a while. You can definitely make an investigation check if you're curious. <clears throat> I'm curious. It'll Should only take a same. moment. Oh my god. Okay. Well, six gets me nowhere. You're not so sure, but it's definitely back. been exposed to the weather for a long time. All right, well, this has been here for a while. Shall we head back? I think so. Oh, one sec. Oh, Can geez. I take the uh, statue of the woman holding the pot oh. out of my bag and set it on top, or set it next to the body? The body? Like on our way or back? We have... or, the we take... right. or whatever we just found, I can't remember what it was. There's an old backpack. I was typing stuff. I'm just going to put it in the backpack. In the old backpack? Yeah! <laughs> no, you... None of us can carry that! Oh wait, we're taking it? Of course we're taking it, we didn't just come oh. out here to look at a stump. I'm just gonna huck it onto the ground then. Oh no, I'm gonna put it on the stump! I'll put it on the stump! Can I at least take the bag out of it first? Yes! I don't Would know what's going on anymore! That? I'm just, I'm just trying to ditch the statue. I'm fine with that. Just pick it up for a second. All right. I'm ditching the statue. I'm taking the backpack. Okay. Now you can put it down. All right. There, it's, it's gone. Oh it's beautiful. Okay. Can we go? Yes, let's go. We head back. Okay. 
As you pass by the corpse of the headless bear, are you doing anything with it? Stifling some puke. <laughs> well, okay, so here, this is the only thing that I would maybe understand stopping for, is if we can preserve some rations. We can eat this, right? You could. It'll take a bunch of preparation. I mean, we have a bunch of time. Yeah, we don't have a bunch of time. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay. You guys pass by the corpse and head back with a uh, weathered backpack in your hands. Uh, after a while, you do eventually get back to that terrible house at the center <laughs> of the ruins, and stepping through the mirror, return towards the rest of the group. You guys see your companions coming back as you've been waiting here by the temple for the last couple of hours. It appears that Arillo has been bloodied up ever so slightly, but they do have the backpack in hand. Yeah, we found it. What is that awful smell? Don't worry about it. I got Arillo. rid of the dead fish. Get the fish. <clears throat> yeah, he did. It's gone now. And I'll pull out the bear head. You know, this entire time I, I thought you had horrendous gas from those berries you picked. Oh, no. No, there's just dead fish. It's been, it's been rotting in there for a little while. But I got a new thing, and I pulled it out. Edgar, Edgar's looking super unimpressed right now. Too oh large to fit God. into his backpack, hanging by some straps, you see what appears to be the skull of a bear. Can its I tongue remove? lolls out of its mouth, blood dripping from different parts of it. I raise an eyebrow to Tidge. Wait, 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 wait. I just shake my head. <laughs> Is there even a fish left? Didn't we time skip? You guys threw the fish into the forest, if that's what you mean. Yeah, but well, I mean, no, like, how disintegrated oh. was it? Because we time skipped oh. after he... Oh, Your yeah, inventory yeah, yeah. moves with you, so you're fine. Oh, okay. Okay, can that's I... good. You don't have I'd to like can to your apples bad. in this one. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I didn't can my fish, though. Fuck! You know what, Lucian? <laughs> one day, <laughs> when... One day I'll be over there, collapses. and I'll be happy to have canned apples. You want, you'll be happy to have some applesauce, or maybe some apple jelly, or, you know, some apple butter. Or... I'll, I'll take it back. I'll be like, this isn't as gay as I thought it was. Apple cider. So, can I take the time <laughs> to... Uh... When, when the world collapses, people will just put a gun to your head and take that stuff anyways. All you're doing is stocking up for the guy who's strongest in your block. Yeah. I think that was Bill Burr. Hashtag that. Bill Burr, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. I guess it's cheaper to do this than it is to purchase it throughout the year anyways. Anyway, keep going. Let's just... Can I no one cares time? why we can, Apples. Alright? <laughs> I, I think we all care. Twitch, chime in, please. Twitch biddies for canned apples, please? <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> no canning. Hashtag free the apples. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, take Can I the open time? the backpack and try and find the book? Ah. Inside of the backpack, you find, sure enough, a small little puzzle box there wrapped in a, a little cloth. You can see there's like a little cube-shaped thing oh. under a cloth. And there's oh, also God. another thing under a cloth, which is rectangle-shaped, and when you move that cloth out of the way, you see a little book there entitled... It's a puzzle the, box. You tricked me. The Philosopher's Cabin. Does it have pictures in it? It doesn't appear so. Oh bummer, Borarillo. <clears throat> I will hand I don't it care. to I just want uh, Defender Dash Three. Okay. Uh, one. What? <laughs> Is it dash one. <laughs> oh, look at that! I just no, I found Defender Dash Three over here, and I brought it with me. Yeah, I'll give it to Defender Dash One. You're handing him what? The book. Oh well, he can't move, but. You can put the book next to him if that's what you want. Sure. I thought he oh. stood up. No. Oh. no. Yeah, he sat up at one point. He did. I I don't know. I can't remember. No, I'm pretty sure he's been that laying on the ground the whole time. He's just he's... been chilling. Nah. There. But okay, so but he no, he held on to something. Yeah, like he can kind of move his arms and stuff, but that's about it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, if he can move his arms, can he grab the book? <laughs> can you grab the book? Sure. Yeah, you can hand it to him. He'll take the book. 
I don't know if this will interest you or not, but uh, illusion annoying to Pete. What the fuck is that? The hell, Billy? What are you listening to? Is it that loud? Jesus. Yes. Yeah. My, my ear balls. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it, guys. <laughs> we look over at the death avatar. <laughs> He's he watching doesn't have something feet, on Netflix. They're tapping that. <laughs> what is that noise? It was Portuguese. Portuguese? Yes, Obrigado. Yes. For you guys. De nada. <laughs> De nada. <laughs> I'll pull out the well, this is happening, nada. Lucian, can I skin the bear to make it lighter in my inventory? Skin the bear and just sure. get rid of the not important. Oh, so remove the fur that's keeping all the nasty smell inside and just have it's a... It's a fresh kill. It's not going to be that bad. Meanwhile, the avatar is like, dude, dude this is Have you ever home. killed something before? That shit's rank, dude. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna learn with that 30 odd 6 when you kill a squirrel or some shit. <laughs> well, it all depends on if you puncture <clears throat> the intestines or not. Otherwise, it's fine. We're talking about if you remove. Mr. The Robot, fucking what's face. this book about? Like, you want to remove the brain and all the non essentials. I'll go outside and do it. Defender Dash 1 looks over, and when you hand him the book, he takes it in hand and looks at it. And he says, Ah. This is one of my favorite books. How come? The story is well written. You can take it if you wish. I've read over it many times. It is by no means a rare tome. I've had this copy for some years. If he's get, if he's holding it out, I'll take it. Sure. He hands you the book. And I'll start flipping through it. Sure. It's a dense thing. The book is not particularly large, but when you see how small the print is on the page, you realize that you have a decent read ahead of you. Oh, baby. I'll reach in and pull out the uh, puzzle box, the wrapped up puzzle box. Sure. You can feel the thing there in your hands. With the cloth separating you from actually touching the box, you know for sure what it is that's there, having held one of these before. Hold hold up. If he's bound here, what happens when we give him a puzzle box? And then take the puzzle box per Oh no, the puzzle box probably goes with him. Perhaps, but but it's worth he, a shot, I suppose. If he's bound here, what happens if he gets bamfed somewhere else? It's worth a try. I'll handle. Oh, uh, what if the puzzle box just disappears because he can't go with it? I'm not certain what would happen. I do believe the magic ties me to this place. Traveling elsewhere may cause problems. Problems with the magic or problems with the magic trying to transport you? Hard to or say. Pro Probably all around. Um, quick question for you, Defender-1. Did you get into oh, the boy. puzzle box ah. after being bound here? No. I've been into this puzzle box many times, but after I was placed here and the magic was finished, I've simply been resting. Hmm. I think it's worth a shot, guys. Could interrupt the curse, give us some time to dispel it in there, and at least we'll have... I'm just not sure if this curse is powerful enough to transcend planes. If it is, we run the risk of him being trapped. Um, do you think that you could even activate it just lying on the ground like that? I could certainly try. Solving it would be no issue. I still have my hands available. I look to Tidge and I nod. Alright, everybody wait, look away. Wait, 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 wait. What, what if... Alright, so there's still crazy variables 
and we don't know if the puzzle box disappears with the solver into the next dimension. Why don't one of us try it first? Well, they, they've they never disappeared before, right? I mean, with the June, everyone before or everyone after me when I first went in was able to go in. And the same thing with the puzzle box with uh, the mice. So, I mean, right, two but... for two, they what stay if... here. What if... Uh... He said... Defender Dash one mentioned that it was secluded. Right? So I'm, I'm guessing it's like a solitary study. It's a pocket her. dimension with just a study, yeah. Are you, you suggesting one of us be on the other side while he solves it? Or do you think that only just one person can go through at a time? Aye! That's what, what I kind of thought as well. Because it said that the puzzle box come with, comes with you. But in the other ones we've been in, well, the first one, it was there as well. There, there was some kind of manifestation. Can I can I talk to, to you guys privately, please? And I'll kind of step away from Defender-1. What is it? Look, uh, I haven't had any reason to, to distrust Defender-1 thus far, but at the same time, puzzle boxes are dangerous. And he is cursed with something a June put on him. I, I'd, I'd be more comfortable either sending him through, or removing the curse before one of us goes in. Just because we don't know the full extent of the curse and if it affects personality. For all we know, and this is Gem talking, not me. Convincing Defender Dash One was part of a June's plan. Get us to drop our guard. I have to admit, I'm I'm attached to him, and then being attached to him, and then being that my oath is a redemption, this is a perfect trap for me. So if we can strip him of the curse or send him through first, we send him through, we sever the connection. Now the ma the biggest risk is we sever the connection and he dies, and he's stuck in that plane forever. Which, to be honest with you. Considering his love for that study might not be the worst thing. But if we go through, we run the risk of being stuck. And if the puzzle box stays here, then one at a time we're going to be going through into a trap. Those are just my thoughts. As long as we're airing concerns, my biggest one would be that this spell does transcend portals, or planes rather, and he goes through and something happens to him that he can't move at all, and then he's trapped there, mm -hmm. and this spell is almost permanent. Well, I mean, Defender-1 displayed a serious reluctance to leave this plane. Uh, because he figured that it would sever the spell. So maybe it doesn't transcend planes. Right, otherwise he would have just left with us. Have we asked him, since he's become been more forthright, what the spell actually, like, what the connection of this, if he knows how he's well, connected? Ev everything he's he said thus far is he doesn't have any understanding. What we yeah. haven't done is asked him to leave. But... I think the curse itself brings him back to the neutral position. I don't know if it's something that he can decide, although it's worth a shot. Why don't we tr We can just try carrying him out of this place. And if that That's doesn't a, work... It's kind of maybe, what I've been for. Uh, it's the I simplest think, solution. Yeah, and if he goes back to his position, then so be it. We've at least eliminated that option. Yeah, because we've got to assume we're on a different plane here. I look around. I think that's a safe bet. I'll, I'll kind of turn around. Defender-1, can you get up? Sadly, no. Since the magic has completed, I've been stuck in place. Do you think I would be able to carry you out, or does the curse seem to bring you right back to your position? 
appears that my torso is immovable. You can try. I'll go over and try to pick him up. It feels as though he weighs an infinite number of pounds, and though you can grab his arm and tug at it and it moves just fine, his torso stays, like, bolted to where it is. Hmm. Well, that was a good option, uh, everyone, but it's clearly not going to work, so... I believe the Order foresaw someone attempting to move me. Yeah, but I don't think they foresaw you having a change of heart. Do you think... Here's our concern, Defender-1. We're thinking of letting you solve this puzzle, bring you to a different plane, and severing the connection. Our concern, however, is if the connection is severed and you lose your wits or your consciousness that you're stuck there forever. Do you have any... Do you have any suggestions or ideas? I'm not certain what would happen. There are types of magic that do not combine well. I worry that being trapped here, trying to go elsewhere, could be such a situation. Hmm. Have I have read had... about pocket dimensions being placed within other pocket dimensions to disastrous effect. Hmm. Okay. Has there any... has there ever any... sorry try to rephrase this have you ever had more than one person in that study or was that puzzle box expressly for you i am not certain if others have ever been there at the same time though i have seen evidence as though someone had been in the study before i had hmm. calic tidge have you guys heard of this before pocket dimensions within pocket dimensions well Besides the uh, scope of puzzle boxes to begin with, mm, not really. Yeah, I... You haven't heard of there being dangers? Hmm. Maybe we take Defender at his word on that one. Table talk. I thought that when we were talking about it goes in the trash, he said something about putting like a magical item in there, but I can't remember what it was. We need what? a trash can. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Because <sighs> I know Table Talk, we can't... I mean, I don't know if we can't, but I know, like, bag of holding within a bag of holding creates, like, a black hole, basically. So, I don't know if that applies to puzzle boxes within a different plane like this. But Why Edgar not? has no idea. <laughs> Let's try it. First science. Well... Illusion, like, Table Talk, it's two hours there, two hours back with the bag, plus being retarded and hacking at a bear. <laughs> How long has it been? Like, five hours? Something like yeah. that? I mean, guys, maybe we just wait the three hours, we try the double dispel, and see what happens. At this point, we're so close. Defender-1, how long have you been here? For some time. It is difficult to keep track of days from this position, though have certainly I've been here for more than a season. Have you been visited by many like us? Or any like us, really? You Other are the, the second. A single group has come by before you. Did they try anything to free you? They interacted like briefly with the magic above me. It did not go well. One of them was seriously injured. They left shortly afterwards. Okay. I remember. Their group was similar to yours. Uh, similar how so? I am not certain if they noticed me watching them, but I saw that they were indeed great souls as well. Another group did... Tell us about Misty Town. Yes. You told us about you, this place. Do you think it could have could have been that group? What was Certainly. it, Tyrant Star? I don't remember them completely, though I have vague description. It has been some time since I've rested here, and since they were last. Yeah, it, looking back through my notes, it was Tyrant Star. They said, Ajun Dekat. A portal in Misty Town will take you to an imprisoned avatar of death who wants to kill a June. Could you describe this group? 
besides being great souls? There was a handful of them. I remember a female, one dragonborn. There were others. They were well armed. I remember this. A wizard with them as well. Maybe two. Well, at least we know we're not just, you know, sp trying the same things that others have tried. So, if it'll only take a couple more hours for you to try your double dispel, then it's worth it. Yeah, I'll just continue resting, and I'll, I'll flip through that book. Sure. You guys wait for a few hours. Those of you who have been here in the temple have been doing nothing and eventually get a long rest. The book that you go through for a couple hours there is quite dense and it opens up with the tale of a man living in a somewhat simple town and you don't get very far, maybe just a little bit into the first chapter. Um, laying the groundwork, it seems like there's a good deal of suspense in the story, and this person who leads a pretty everyday life has a, a bunch of strange happenings that make it look like his, uh, his life's about to be turned upside down. I'm sorry, what was the name of the book again? The Philosopher's... Cabin. Thank you. Does this book resonate with you, Gaelic? That's up to him. I have a lot more to read. Well. Sorry. Rough if we're just together. Any more suggestions or going right into it? I'd just say we go right into it. Um, but over that time, I would have been... I imagine I probably got all the notes out of it that I could have, but I would have still been sifting through Murkath's notes just to see if I missed anything. Okay. But that's all I would do. Okay. <clears throat> you go through the notes, combing over little bits here and there, hoping to see anything interesting, but uh, you don't notice anything crazy. Um, it's clear from the notes that you go over that... Uh, Rune Fang was definitely like a pretty traveled man and has been to quite a few different places. And some of the um, things that he's been to seem kind of, you know, familiar. It, it, he's been sent to a random temple here, that kind of thing before. Mm hmm. All right, let's go. Just cool to kind of see the life unfold. Ouch. Ow. What the fuck, man? Dude, it's just goddamn. Ready? Are we ready to do this then? I'll mod. Alright. It's all you. Are you casting it twice, Kalik? <clears throat> I will rub my hands together. Uh, and yeah, I'll stand above him once again. Do we do to... we cast it once on the heart, once on the orb, or twice on the heart? I I'm not sure. Oh, whatever. Defender one. Do. Uh, what would you do? You think it would have more of effect if I focused solely on your heart, or should I focus just on your heart to weaken the the bond or this tether, and then focus on the that light? The or spell it... emanates from within me. I'm not certain that this floating flame has much to do with it, though I could be incorrect. Well, this could kill you. I hope you're well aware. I am aware. As I, I said before, so if that is the end outcome, I will not hold it against you. I'll place uh, my hand on, on Defender Dash One's sh shoulders, sorry, and I'll pray to Metri while this happens. 
do you have this, I'm sorry I've never had to say this before do you have any last words or any last wishes if if this does you know hmm I had not thought of it I assumed that given my research, I would be able to eventually afford replacement parts and live indefinitely. I suppose that is not the outcome. If I have damaged the world in some way, let my last words be that I did not mean to do so and tried to do good. That's all. Tried to do good. If this doesn't work, we may be forced to destroy your heart by more physical means. Are you okay with this? Of course. <sighs> All right, then. I'll stand up and close my eyes. Try to have a moment of clarity. And then I'll look down and I'll cast Dispel Magic and try to replicate what I, what I did before. Okay. The same thing happens. When you finish your first cast, the body twitches for a moment. And you watch as Defender-1 seems to go into an unconsciousness. The light in his eyes fading, his body sort of jitters for a moment. The heart is no longer ensorcelled with as much magic, and the flame above him seems to dwindle. Do you cast it a second time? I do. When you cast it a second time, the flame again flickers so that there's only maybe <clears throat> like a, a candlelight worth of a green flame there, and Defender-1 flickers again, uh, or sorry, uh, shakes again. But this time, something interesting happens, and you see that the avatar of death behind him seems to swell and grow for a brief moment. He reaches forward, a skeletal hand coming from his um, his robes there, and he reaches down towards Defender-1, and you hear a crunching sound as his hand pervades through him. A moment later, and all the magic seems to be gone, and that little flame disappears, and the Avatar of Death looks at you all and says, Free! And in a moment, just whoosh, turns into nothing but like a stream of black that goes in like a serpentine formation across the floor and then out through the main archway. Did he crush him? You see that the interior of uh, Defender Dash 1's chest cavity is just a bunch of broken parts. Can't you fix it with your little spells, boys? Titch. I'll, uh, I'll go down and start to cast Mending. Uh -huh. Give it a shot. You're able to fix together some of the parts, but not everything goes back together. And when you're done here, you find that there's one piece that you can't repair. His heart seems to be missing altogether. Just a small pile of dust at the bottom. He did say that there was a slight chance we could rebuild a heart. I don't know if it'll be Defender-1 again, but we owe him at least that. I didn't mean to kill him. Look, um, Tidge is right. We, we did everything we could. At the end of the day, he put himself in this situation, and we gave him every chance. And guess what? He seized it. He saw the light, which is as much as I could ask of him. That being said, I'm not going to give up on him. If we can bring him back, we should. But at least we know now that whatever was binding a June to this earth is, well, pissed off and seeking him.
How, Hopefully he finds him soon. How heavy do you, is Defender 1? He is probably about 200 pounds, something like that. Let's see what I can carry. I can't carry much, but I think we should bring him with. I am at 117, and I can maximum carry 240. So I can't do it. I can't do it for sure. I mean, <laughs> I'll try. Oh, no, it didn't work. Oh, I could probably carry his hand. What if? What if we build a stretcher? If. if... No, I, ha I have an idea. So, Defender 1 mentioned he had seen signs of people being in the study with him. Uh, or not with him, but there before him. Um displacing things, maybe perhaps leaving things there and taking things with them. Now, Defender-1 isn't necessarily necessarily organic. He's more of hearts and gizmos that whirl. Let's say if one were to have him in their possession, do you think they could deposit him there. Well, we have to heed his words. Um, we can at least drag him out of here. Yeah. But I don't think we should attempt to do that here. I don't yeah, think yeah. it's worth testing. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's worth uh, dragging him out of this dimension, and we shouldn't. We should leave uh, the ruins of Misty Town, uh, and I think. Between Arillo and I, if we grab uh, the arms and legs, we should be able to slowly, at least, bring them out. And once we're out of the desecrated area, we can uh, attempt what you're what you're talking about. I'd be willing to check inside the puzzle box first to confirm that it's safe there and that sure. it is a study. Well, Arillo, grab the the legs if you don't mind. And if and, it doesn't, uh, go, if it doesn't go well, I'm fairly certain sending I could send it between dimensions do you mind uh, closing his cavity uh, Kalik before we move him oh yeah of course <coughs> I'll uh, do my best to seal it properly you fix him up here and close up the um, chest compartment and he looks completely normal we're not for the fact that there's no lights on and no motion uh, he would look otherwise untouched. And, uh, I guess, Arillo, if you're cool with it, pick him up and uh, start heading out. Yep. Okay. You guys pick up the robot here, and Arillo, with his strength, hoists him over his shoulder, and you begin to leave. It's at that point, when you're heading over towards the steps, that you guys hear what sounds like a terrible bell chime above you. And... As you look around, you see something interesting, which is that at that first row, where there's the empty grave, you see Death there holding a body and lowering it into the grave. And we're going to end this, or not end the session, but go to a brief five, ten minute break. I Sorry. was about to say, oh, I was like, what? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, Surprise! Yeah, we'll be back in ten here. Sorry guys, I was planning you for for you guys to stay in the pocket dimension for at least seven to eight more sessions. So <laughs> I haven't planned for you guys progressing this far. Yeah. <laughs> you were supposed to babble incoherently there for another four or five hours. <laughs> Was a possibility. <laughs> All right, water time, everybody. Oh, fuck. You just pour water on yourself? I dropped a piece. Of, I dropped an apple. <laughs> Grandma, no. It's on, it's on the floor. Apple down. I haven't dropped one yet, so, you know. <laughs> Can't right? say that anymore. Not anymore. 
I'll be back. I'll be back as well. I killed him. No, you didn't. Death did. <laughs> yeah, fuck him. And the worst part is, like, Edgar was... Had had that not worked, Edgar was gonna make the... The, the plunge with his sword, so... Edgar's probably happy he didn't have to... You know, do that. <clears throat> Just think, it could have been worse. You're right. We could have had to fight death. That would have yep. sucked dick. Christ, well, considering he just sure. considering he just probably snatched up a June, murked him, and walked away. Like, I don't think that's a fight we would have won. <laughs> oh, sweet sweatpants! Just sneezes at us, and we're yeah. I am so happy up here in uh, Montreal. It's like. 17 degrees now, which I think is like below 50 Fahrenheit, which is perfect. Like windows open for me. It's it's like it's probably like 48 right now in my room. This is this is good old Canadian living. Good old Canadian. Where are you, sweatpants? You sons of bitches. Yeah, it's pretty nice being this oh. cool. 17 is like 62 here. Is it? I mean, so I don't know how to do Fahrenheit. Says the Google machine. There you go. That's how oh. you do. I thought it was double plus... Oh, I was doing 17. I think it's plus 34. Never mind. Yeah, it's, it's not stupid. 50. It's not 50. I think fucking... Uh, what is it? Oh, I thought I found my army long john. Right? now. Nah. Forty-seven Fahrenheit or eight oh. degrees Celsius here. Oh damn, that's way colder than here. Shit, you guys are—you must be sleeping so fucking well, man. It's oh, been it's like awesome. I just mm -hmm. wish the days were cooler. 
Yeah, yeah well, dude, cooler, would be nice, Montreal's right? been having some freak weather. It was 36 here for like five days last week, which I think is almost 100. Jesus. And made yeah, up American like, that's... units? Yeah, it's <laughs> 96.8. Which... In fucking September, dude. In Montreal, that's never happened. It's fucking ridiculous. Last weekend here, it was uh, 80, which is 26, oh, you, 27 you know degrees up there. It's 13 degrees now. Okay, so I'm like 5 degrees, 5 Celsius above where you're at. We're not that far away from you. We're like no, an hour you're, south. You're in the mountains, though. I guess that yeah. makes the difference of 5 degrees. I'm so jealous. It was 95 where we were. I fucking I don't like the heat, man. When I was in Greece at least, it was it was like 40 degrees, so like 100 degrees Fahrenheit, but um no humidity. So you you'll get heat stroke like a motherfucker if you're not careful, but at least you're not hot, you know. Um whereas in Montreal, it's just fucking it's like, hey, it's 27 degrees. Feels like 40. And you're like, fuck. Fucking hates. Just humidity up the ass, man. Uh, J'aime pas ça. J'aime pas ça. I don't have eye climatisé. I don't have uh, AC. It was like... Oh, shit. You don't have AC? It was nah, super man. windy. I don't have AC either. I moved in July. Yeah, no. And I was like, I'm not going to buy an AC for August. Because September gets cold. Yeah, yeah, And then yeah. all of September, it's been retarded, so... Clearly... The... Yeah, that's I mean, if it's good. anything like here, it's like one week maybe in the summertime where it's like ungodly hot and that's it. Well, this yeah. this summer for us was like it's five funny. weeks. It's... Yeah, it was crazy here. There is a week yeah. where it was just in the 90s all week, which yeah, is that's insane. So hot. Yeah. 70 is kind of high for us. Like, 75 is high for us, which feels... <laughs> It's like 20 degrees Celsius or something like that. No, it's not yeah. that. 23, 24. Moving up to yellow knife. Yellow knife. But our elevation is like, I just looked it up, it's like 492 meters. And Montreal is like 43 above sea level. So we up there. We up there, son. Oof, Brie Larson. Yes, sir. <coughs> we'll start in a few here. I'm just having a snack real quick. I'll do you, man. Oh, that's okay. I'm just coring some more apples. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, there's, there's a whole five-gallon pail here. You're the most adorable grandma trapped in a young woman's body. <laughs> I am a grandma. I don't know how to She name. says with I'm a so... shakiness in her voice. <laughs> <laughs> I am a grandma. My soul has arthritis. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of dementia, you know. I don't understand them computers. <laughs> oh my god, speaking of this. Okay, so <laughs> you, you, you guys know computers and me are not a good thing, right? So, yeah, we've put so, two uh, <laughs> I'm like the youngest nurse that they have at my place that oh, I, no. and they I work. they depend on you for at... tech. Yeah, so they're like, you're young, you can figure it out. I'm like, no, <laughs> no, 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 the wrong idea. So the other day, our, our internet went out and they're like, can you fix it? And I'm like, no. <laughs> Call the guy. <laughs> it's not me. I'm not the one. So they sent me down to the basement to reset the router. And I'm like... Okay, just unplug it for 10 seconds, right? Then plug it back in. It didn't work. Apparently, there was a line fried somewhere. I'm like, I don't know how to fix that. She's Jesus. snapping me just like, help, please. 
But not... Connor. <laughs> I am not being liable to a network I am not authorized to touch. Mm -mm. <laughs> Is that your job, IT? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I studied. Nerd. <laughs> Fucking nerd. <laughs> Shut up, Grandma. I still haven't told my family I built my computer, because I know what'll come. I'm gonna keep that shit under wraps. Seriously? Can you fix this? Oh, oh yeah, exactly. It's already bad with my dad, he's like, Hey, uh, hey Jason, uh, I went to use the trackpad and uh, it doesn't work no more, no, it's, it's locked up, uh, it doesn't work, uh, <laughs> I did. I did not bring my mouse too. So uh, what do I the do? The fuck's a like, PC? Say to make an A. <laughs> I'm like, no, no. In French, he's like, "Stalis, ma souris marche plus. J'ai pas de rien." So you can hear him like smashing it on the desk. So I go, I go. All right, Dad. Let me. What kind of laptop do you have? I'm like HP. I'm like, okay, HP trackpad locked. And it goes, when you double tap the top left corner of your trackpad, it locks it and the light turns on. So I'm like, all right, dad, just tap the little corner twice. It's like, oh, ben tabarnak, ça marche. Ça marche, ouais. <laughs> like, oh, for fuck's sakes, it works. How do you know this? I'm like, oh, no. I just Googled it, man. He's like, okay, bye. I'm like, no, 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 no. Google it next time. He's like, yeah, 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 I'll just call you. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> It's so true, though. I hate, yeah, I hate telling people. I told my dad, I'm like, you guys come from a generation where you either ask someone you know, or you keep bashing your head against it until it works, or you buy a new one. Whereas, like, me, I, I'm no different. It's not like I know shit. I've just Googled it, and over time, you start remembering what you Google, and that's it. You know what I mean? It's not fucking black magic. Right? Mm -hmm. My mom relies on us for like computer support oh, like that God. how do i fix this hang on <laughs> yeah, gotta be careful literally you just, you're capable oh, that's around too <laughs> ashley with the, just with the with the cackle because she's like yeah that's me that's so me can you help me connor <laughs> you my are on a mac <laughs> <laughs> i don't know how to work a mac well neither do i apparently well why did you get one because it had a picture of an apple and I thought it was cute. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Bravo. Bravo. Oh, shit. That was a good one. Oh, that was good. Yeah, it was. Well done. Well done. That's why you DM. Dust soft shoulder. Oh, 10 out of 10. That's that next level shit. There are layers to this shit. Sorry, Twitch. <laughs> layers. Why did you say sorry? Because. Jesus. Oh, Never mind. So does. This avatar of death owe us a favor now? It's not a fucking genie, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> he didn't ask if he owes us three favors, he asked if he owes us a favor. <laughs> Pretty sure he'll kill yeah, you. Yeah, like, do we get the wish spell or something? <laughs> I wonder if he's like, uh, what's his name there? Yeah, it's a joke. It's a complete joke. <laughs> I mean, you can ask him for one. I, I uh, encourage you. <laughs> oh, <excuse me. laughs> Sorry, what a bit of indigestion there. <laughs> okay. Hey, fuckhead! You owe us! It's like, oh yeah? Hey. I thought Start you were screaming at your grave. dog for a second. No, I love him. <laughs> I love him so much. Yeah, but I'm sure you screamed, hey, fuckhead, when he started, like, chewing on something. <laughs> oh, 100% <laughs> I have done that. Alright, well, I think we're good to go. You guys set? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. As you step outside of the temple, you see a funeral that is taking place as a corpse is being lowered into the grave of a June. Fuck. What does the corpse look like? 
Death doesn't hold the thing himself, but with a hand outstretched, skeletal fingers pointing towards it, lowers the thing slowly as though there's an invisible or unheard ceremony that must be going along with it. The body, as it begins to descend into the earth from your heightened vantage point at the top of the temple mount here, looks very familiar, and you see the, the dark skin and the bald head of a man that you guys once fought inside of a puzzle box being dropped down into here. Hmm. Wait, I'm... Can you repeat that? Because my brain just fucking did not comprehend. I just heard puzzle box. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Basically just said we saw June fall in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he looks like the guy you that you fought inside that puzzle box. Remember? Oh, I yeah. got you. I got you. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Because that would I would imagine that'd probably be the most uh, like salient memory you have of what he looked like was when you saw him there and he shot you spells said, at you and all. Right. It you looks like the guy. black black Mister Clean. Exactly. That's exactly what he looks like. <laughs> no, he looks like uh, if you're MTG nerds, he looks like Teferi, I guess. I don't know what. Okay. Magic the Gathering? It's a card game? <laughs> I know that, but I don't Hell know who the yeah. is. Okay. Well, he's a bald black dude. Okay, I know what he looks like now. <laughs> <laughs> you could have just said, oh, that this one looks like... That is terrible. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we all know you're super racist and you only see color, okay? So, don't jump on my case. Just because it's finally shifted to someone else. This is what the party argues about at the top of the temple. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take your silence as an acquiescence to what I just said. Okay. Oh no, my um, hands are sticky because they're full of apple juice. I didn't. I didn't want to make an. an Grandma, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> apple juice. No. All I right, remember so. what I rolled way back when I asked about what I knew about avatars of death, but do I know, would I know if, uh, I don't think it was a whole lot, but if uh, once their souls have been collected, if they're like, that's it, or what do you mean? If they can be brought back. <laughs> ah. Like, is it, or like, what's the accuracy rating of an avatar of death? Can they be tricked? Oh, I see. That's probably like... Uh, I would say that you don't know. And yeah, as far know. as somebody being resurrected, um, well, death comes for everybody, but that doesn't seem to stop people from being brought back, so... Okay. I suppose he got a new body? Or... That's just all for Flair. But he does if that. we're... If we're taking uh, the amulet's word at face value, I think that's the end of a June. If someone tries to bring him back. Yeah, that'll involve binding death once more, and I don't think he'll, he'll be too keen on being tricked again. I think it was the great scholar George W. Bush that once said, <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me. Fool me. You guys get it. You guys know. The general. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> well, do we let the the holders know of the amulet that we struck a June down? The avatar has been freed. A June is no more. A June is dead. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think we need to get poetic with it. A June is dead. Death has been freed. Yeah. Seems simple enough. I mean, they did us the favor telling us where to go. I think it would only be fair to... And, uh, well, again, I, I agree with you, fair, yes, but... Uh, and I, I hate that fuck now, but Jem, again, being in my head now, seemingly 24-7, I think he'd be happy with the idea that A... We were effective, be prompt, and C, um, have shown to actually be able to take out our rivals when the others have not. Um, the only thing we might have to be careful of is 
we're letting them know that we're now following their suggestions, which could possibly lead us into a trap in the future. But for now, I think simple and straightforward. Um, we'll let them know that we mean business. You hear the sound of shovels, though you see none, and <clears throat> metal being stuck into dirt as large swaths of grave dirt are thrown over and over and gradually covering up the hole. Should, uh, should we go talk to him? Personally, he's been cryptic and useless, so I don't know if we'll be able to get anything from him, but... I think interrupting him would be unwise. I think trying to deal with him at all would be unwise. Didn't seem to have much use for us. Other Your names mean nothing. <laughs> Edgar laughs. That's fucking scary. <laughs> Grandma, no. <laughs> <clears throat> Real and makes um, his finger while peeling his bare head. Am I am no. I the only one then that thinks that I think you're right, we should interrupt him, but maybe just be present um A to show respect and also to be there in case he does want to talk to us. He might be thankful after all. He may be. Um I figure if he's can... I'm sorry, Tidge, but uh, I just I figure if he's an avatar of death, he plays by the rules, and he went after June for breaking those. I don't think we have anything to fear from him. Unless our time has come. Speaking of which, we should really get our hands on some diamonds so I can, you know, maybe bring you back if you end up dying. I'll nod. Just, like, just okay. a thought. Yeah, that's a fine idea. Um, I'm I'm gonna go down there. I think uh, we played a huge part in taking down a June. Um, I'd like to be there when he's buried. I'll just kind of give the the party a kind of a solemn grimace, and I'll start walking down. Sure. <clears throat> I'd like to confirm that he's actually in the ground this time. And I'll, I'll follow suit. Okay. Sure. One by one, you guys make your way down the steps, heading over. Death is there, and it seems that, given the sound of invisible shovels, the top of the grave dirt is being padded down, and you see the specter turn and face you as you approach. Edgar first, obviously, and he says, I return to my work. My Con thanks. And you have ours. Contracts are important to keep in this world, and I'm glad you can fulfill yours. Yes. I'll just stay silent and and watch the the day the the grave being dug. <clears throat> I will too, but I'll step out of the way so he has like a clear path back to his. Place to Mrs. Mausoleum thing. He turns away from the group for a moment and then hovers over towards what appears to be the next grave in line. And you watch as he uh, starts to dig that out and begins to prepare the next grave. He turns over for a moment, though, while this is happening and looks over at your group, now collected there by the path, and he says, If you find who did this, kill them. The New World Order, or the New Order, is still out there, and they still seek to bind you. And we think the Winter Lich is a part of them. I know you're not one for names, but being a creature that seems ageless, um, and the Winter Lich being around for so long, it might resonate with you. I see. I'll just nod, thinking to myself, yep, about as useless as I thought. <clears throat> he looks well, down towards the grave as it's being excavated, and continues to talk and says, I will close this realm when you are gone. Will that lock this one in here, the one you've just collected? Is there a way to do that? 
so he can't be brought back. This one will not return. Well, that's good enough for me. Is there anything else you need from us besides the death of uh, the architect behind this plan? Break the mirror when you are past. I'll nod. <coughs> you can do that. For this favor, I, you. I will collect you gently when your time comes. All right, we get to see you again. Well, we could be happy about that. Edgar feels like a chill run down his spine. The joke <clears throat> just hangs there with no sound at all in the realm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Arella, you want to help me with uh, Defender-1? Yes. <coughs> be well, so... Death. Uh, I'll just, yeah, right. I'll say. Be well, Death, and uh, be wary. I suspect that they'll try to capture you again if they can. When the mirror shatters, that will be the end of it. Death, <laughs> may I ask him several questions? And I'll point, point to the grave. He is mine now. All right. <laughs> I'm just sweating bullets. <laughs> I'm like, I'm pulling on Defender Dash 1, trying to get Arillo to start moving with me, like, come on! Yep, I'm, I'm going with it. Hey, look, is your tail flickering nervously? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you guys leave? Yeah, Yeesh. I guess so. Yep. Okay. Yeesh. Mm -hmm. There's more that you want, but given circumstance, perhaps it's better to simply leave this one alone. And you guys turn and head down the curved path into the gray woods, eventually traveling through the mirror and back into that strange, desecrated mansion. When you get to the other side, what do you want to do? Yeah, who would like to oh do the honors? I almost shit my pants. <laughs> I will turn around and I will kick, like Spartan kick, the fucking mirror. Please tell me he fucking falls. Uh, your foot disappears through the front of the mirror. He goes right through it. Fuck. <laughs> really, it All doesn't right. work that way. How does it, what? How does this <clears throat> work? Let me uh, let me try there, big guy. Yeah. And uh, right. I'd like to take my sword and in a side swipe hit the frame, starting first. Sure. And, uh, yeah. Okay. When you hiss swing and hit the side there, it's not enough to break through the frame. Metal as it is, your sword reverbs off the thing, but you do see what appears to be a crack that spreads across the surface of the mirror, and a moment later, in a shatter, you see what looks like a pane of glass that falls apart and in little pieces piles up on the ground there. There's a magical shockwave that emanates from the thing as this happens, and everything in the room quivers for a brief moment, as though time is stretched for a second and then brought back to normalcy. Hmm. Well, that's that. I wonder if the thing below here is still here. Do we still sense that, uh... It was just kind of creepy, right? Yeah. Yeah, you guys have like a terrible foreboding about the place. <clears throat> <laughs> still feel, still send shivers down the spine, but I don't know I if can... that's just the monkey skeletons or. Can I uh, detect? Um, I forget what it's called. Uh, divine sense. If if everything is still desecrated, and if I can sense a uh, creepy fuckboy beneath me. I'll, I'll cast Detect Magic, too. There is certainly evil in the area. That's all I'll tell you. Okay. Yeah, if they're if they're behind uh, full cover, I can detect, I think, life forms, but not where they are. Hmm. 60 feet a day. Something lurks in the area. Shit. <sighs> we 
Were you detecting magic, Kalik? Yes. Oh, I sorry. I just hard cast it. There is nothing. <laughs> you detect that there is indeed a magic in this place, but you don't get any schools. Okay. I'll keep it up while we okay. walk. Uh, I don't think it's up to us to purge this place. What do you guys feel? I'd rather not stay. I don't well, really see how it's connected. One lead down. We know the other one's in Soulsland. We have a ways to go. Figure we get started. Get out of here, see if we can put Defender-1 in the puzzle box to lighten the load, and uh, maybe move forward west. We should also maybe send uh, Barjargar a message letting him know that his pupil is dead. Finally, use the scroll of sending that he asked or he gave us. Even though I would Caleb like you guys to roll perception, please. No, the mannequins. Woohoo! Uh, super average. Another four. That's, dude. You're. I don't know if your lice can your lice along. <laughs> Your dice can be loaded in the opposite way in table talk, but if they can, you got it, man. You got the mod. You got the AIDS mod. You guys are all standing here and pondering <clears throat> what your next move is to be. This has been an interesting story with a number of different twists and turns, and there's no shortage of directions to go in. But standing here in this strange room in a desecrated and very certainly wrong or haunted house, Annabelle you hear something. Off in the distance, a small chittering sound, as though perhaps there's something moving outside there in the town. And it seems to come from, like, past the wall almost. And a moment later, you know, your ear kind of twitches, and you're able to, to tell kind of what it is. It sounds like... It sounds like the faint noise of, like, a, a monkey or something. Oh, fuck that. Fuck that there's a million little fucks out there no oh <laughs> right so we need to leave <clears throat> there are more of these hiding about and i kind of point to all the skeletons uh there's none in this room oh okay well the ones in the hallway sure <clears throat> uh Kaylik, and... if you're gonna do this this puzzle box thing you gotta do it now annie what else you got <clears throat> i'll have can I tell how far away they are? Like, far, you know. It sounds like it must be outside in the street or something. I'll extend my hand to Tidge. Uh. <laughs> puzzle <laughs> box? Kumbaya, oh. my lord! <laughs> sure, if you think now's really like the best time. Here. I'm thinking about library and stuff. All right, all right, all backpack, right, any or... neck beard. Yeah, I'll give you the breathing. puzzle okay. box. I don't need the backpack either, you can have it if you want. Annie, you hear I... something else. It sounds like a human footstep in the dirt. Oh, fuck. All right, uh, we need to leave now. Okay. We, we're, we're, we're trying to get rid of uh, the load of Defender Dash once we can run here, of course. Uh, I'm gonna follow. Well, I'm not. I don't know if Annie's moving, but I'm gonna start heading towards the the front here to make sure we're not bottlenecked in uh, uh, a hallway that ends very abruptly at a broken mirror. Oh, I see. <clears throat> you turn out of the hallway here. Are you going down to the lower floor? No, I'm. I'm just. I'm moving up to the next like fork or junction or whatever and waiting, just uh -huh. keeping an eye out both directions. When you step outside of this room, back into the hallway where some of the skeletons can be seen, you immediately get a strange sensation. Behind you, there's a set of windows. In front of you, there is a long hallway. At the end of that hallway, you know there is the turn, and gradually the stairs that go back down and out of this place. But something behind you seems to tingle at the back of your sensory perception here. The hairs on your neck seem to stand on end, and something compels you. You feel like there's something past the window. What you choose to do with that is up to you. I divine sense. 
You feel something. Outside, past the window, there is a terrible evil. I <laughs> back away slowly back to the party. Okay. You guys see Edgar step out to the hallway. It looks like he's got a purpose <clears throat> with him, and then he stops and freezes for his, uh, for like a, a split second there. His body overtaken as though struck with an investiture of ice, and then he steps back towards you all. Not with the same... Uh, what's the word you used to describe my my eagerness to walk out? I don't know, but let's just say my my gusto. confidence is gusto, confidence. Yeah, it's it's not the same when I come back. Welcome back. Yeah, let's, uh, Annie's right. Do this quickly, please. I don't know what the hell's out there, but let's just say my, my paladin senses don't flare up like this usually. How about we just have Arillo solve it with, uh, Defender 1 in hand? Okay. And Arillo, come back as soon uh... as you can. Oh, so Ar Arillo, yeah. you're you're gonna just have defender over your shoulder because you can carry him um, yeah. in your full weight. You'll solve the box, go in. You'll still have the box, hopefully, and you'll be able to solve it and come out, leaving defender dash one there. Okay. You all hear a shout from down the hallway. Something yells at you all. It sounds Quickly. like a, a a voice that echoes as though magic is laden alongside it. It couldn't be a normal creature. And it calls out and says, Great souls! I'm gonna go inside the box. Okay. Frantically, you grab a hold of the box and zone into the thing, <clears throat> moving small pieces. A moment later, and you guys watch as the puzzle box falls to the ground, and Arillo and all that he's carrying disappears. Does that include Defender? Yep. I was holding it, so... Alright, I'm gonna leave him there, and... Sure. You appear in what appears to be a strange stone and wooden room, and around you see a large table and books, chairs, things like that, and a, a good number of different statuettes and things like that. But you have something else on your mind. There's definitely help that needs to uh, be delivered to the group there. Are you fixing the box and going back? Yes. Okay. You leave Defender on the ground, and a moment later you return back towards the group. And you guys watch as Arillo reappears. All right, let's go and guys, please be wary. I don't know what that is, but I'll take a cloth and pick up the puzzle box off the ground. Okay, it's not good. And tuck it away. I know you're in there. Oh, uh, uh, we should get out of here. Yeah. Do we answer? I think there's only one way out of here. All right, let's go. Whatever it is, Metri will guide my hand. And uh, I'll walk out. <laughs> There's no gods here. Can you read my mind? <laughs> oh my God. The voice seems to come from the walls. And as you guys pause for a moment and look at each other, a loud sound resonates from behind you as you watch one of the bricks of the house just fall down to the ground. Oh shit, I'm running at this point. Okay. Same. I need all of you guys to make for me a dexterity saving throw as you run through the house as it begins to collapse. Come on, Welfare Wednesday. Yes. If anybody rolls below a 12, I need to know. <gasps> uh, <my> oh! <laughs> oh. <God>. 13. <laughs> Uh-oh. I got a 13 as well. ruh row. I got a uh, 7. ruh row. <laughs> I'm gonna die. You got a. <laughs> loses his leg. Nine. What's that fucking like that scary movie about the house that fucking moves around and fucks with you? I think it's a Stephen King movie. This is what the I'm house that right moves now. around and fucks with you by Stephen King. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> it. Okay, so a couple people have failed. We'll start with you there, Tish, oh. as you're running down the hallway. <laughs> One of the stones underneath your foot suddenly slips out. You go to move forward, but you're unable to, and you slip through the ground, and the stones fall upon you, and you take... Oh, that's some damage. You take 20 points of bludgeoning damage. Whew. Falling down to the lower floor. Next up is you, Annabelle. 
And as you're running down the hallway here, you manage to get to the stairs. And there's a slip and a fall. And you try to recover and then have a stone brick fall from the ceiling and strike you for 21 bludgeoning damage. Well, if it hits me for 52, I'm dead. And then Arillo. You said 20. Yeah. Hits me for 100. You take 19 as one of the bricks slams into you as well, and one of the walls nearly falls, crushing you entirely. 13. Am I buried under rubble right now? Uh, right now, you are in a pile of it, and you're able to get out. Okay, I will do that. Who okay. who looks the and most fucked up? Is anyone below uh, half? Fucking Tidge. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tidge looks pretty bad. I have 6 HP right now, but where am I right now? You're on the lower floor, and the rest of your group is running up to you right now. You guys are standing in the main hallway in that vestibule leading outside, and as everything crumbles down, the like bone dust of crushed skeletons being smashed by all of these different uh, gray bricks, you can see outside, even though it's a sunny day, it looks like the light is almost drained of the place, and there's a single solitary humanoid figure that stands in the middle of the road watching you all as you go running out of the house. <sighs> I know I, like, it's, behind it's everyone. Oh, sorry, go ahead, dude. What's that, Titch? Am I behind? Like, am I the last in line now? I'm pretty slow. I would assume you guys are all together, but if you wanted to be at the back of them, you could. No, it's fine if... I can um, scoop you up and carry you out if you want. You can try it. Otherwise, I can get myself out, too. I I would touch uh, Titch and uh, give him 10 HP from Lay on Hands. Okay. I would still <clears> be... Well, I would get up and sprint. Well, okay, okay. that's what I was gonna ask if you could draw it, because I was trying to visualize everything, but there's a lot going. It's a lot of building falling in. I hate how manic this guy spot. sounds. Sounds like grade A douche. While we're running, can I cast resistance on myself? For what? It just, uh, the next saving throw. What? I thought you have to choose, like, a damage type. Uh, Are we thinking of different... Oh! Resistance. It's a cantrip. You, once before the spell ends, the target can roll a d4 to add that number. Roll to one saving throw of its choice. Guys, you oh, okay. know what, thinking of you know what really fucking sucks? Is you all would have passed your throws had I reminded you that you have a plus uh, a plus three, or some of you might have passed. Wow, from great! My aura. Mm -hmm. I don't think I would have. Oh, that sorry. Me that time. Sorry, it's your job to remember. <laughs> That's my feature, but we're supposed to remember your feet. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm still running, so. You guys emerge from the breaking building and gradually escape from what is fast becoming a pile of rubble. And there, standing in front of you, you see a figure wearing partially robes and partially armor. There's a sort of um, a dark smoke that seems to emanate from him in all sorts of different corners. And he looks over towards you, and you see underneath the hood no face, but a pair of two red pinprick eyes staring at your group. It's Theo. That'd be awesome. I wouldn't even be mad. Can we run? <laughs> Do you say that, Annie? You're now standing five feet away from him. Oh, well, from him? Or yeah. from... This, he's right here. You guys have just come out of the house. Oh, shit. I thought he was, like, over here. No. no. <laughs> oh, what's, <shit. laughs> the, what's the way that we, we uh, entered uh, Misty Town? <clears throat> uh, probably over here. Okay. Well, no, then I don't say anything. I just stand in front of him. Like I would I would start, like, shifting in front of everyone and kind of <laughs> shimmying everyone over to the right. He looks over and he says, No, no, I don't think so. You're not going anywhere. Not till I'm done with you. He has no face? No face. You see that he reaches for his side and pulls from a scabbard what looks to be a long blade. 
Can I cast, cast Crown of Madness on him? Sure. Damn. He has to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. He passes. The spell fails. <laughs> Sweet. He looks over and, you, and he says, mm -mm, The treachery of great souls. It never seems to end, does it? Betrayal one after another. There'll be no more of that. Not when I'm done with you. And with that, he dashes towards you all, and I need you to make initiative rolls, please. I have advantage, right? Uh, I don't know, do you? <laughs> no, I really don't. You have advantage on dying here. Yes, that, that that's likely. That is very, very Ooh. likely, considering my initiative is a five. <laughs> Damn. Welfare Wednesday dice just fucking me non-stop. And I didn't even pay it. I didn't even pay for it. Alright guys, uh, <gasps> FYI, you have plus three to all saving throws. Well, it looks like Annabelle, you're the only one going first. <clears throat> oh, shit. Yep, one more than me. <laughs> Dick bag. Well... <sighs> Like, okay, he looks super scary. <laughs> I thought the, death the was haunter like, picture. <laughs> like, way better. No, that's that's the evil radish. But, I mean. <laughs> oh, it changed. There we go. Oh! What is it? Where is it? Let me zoom in on that shit. Okay, Ooh. so he's he's not Ooh. a. Okay, I. I stabs him. Okay. Oh shit, you Roll died. to stabs him. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I, well what else are we gonna do? Stand there and look stupid the whole time? No, I... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for real! <laughs> or a ten. How have we survived this? <laughs> You oh, lunge man. forward and your rapier misses as he dodges to the side. He's okay, remarkably can fast. My, can I try my dagger? Sure. Perfect. Slit his throat. Oh, it's a net 20. Oh, well, that'll hit. Okay. Roll so do I, get, do I get my sneak attack since Arillo's close enough to me? No, it has to be <laughs> someone next to oh. him. Oh my She's gosh. next to him. Uh, oh, wait, no, she, she's yeah. a, a swap buckler. If Are there's you? no so if I would have, Yeah, so if I would have stepped here, I can... No, 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 even okay. if you're next to Arillo, it, it's no enemy within five feet, I think, right? Yeah, no, it's fine. I, I didn't know you were a swashbuckler. I am. Then you do have sneak attack. She is. damage. Okay. You lunge forward and stab him, and as you do, he sort of leans down for a moment, the dagger being plunged into his uh, his abdomen there, and he kind of like looks down and then looks up at you. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, I had to double that. Wait, right? Because it was a nat 20? Did you not roll with the crit? You you double your sneak attack and you double your yeah damage. you have to double yeah. all the dice. Oh okay so I thought ten was kind of low for a crit. Sorry. Okay so nineteen there you go. Nineteen okay. All right. <laughs> Is that your whole turn? Um. Yes, because I used my bonus action. Somebody's messaging me. Let's see. 
I need your group to make for me a wisdom saving throw as he reaches into his robes and pulls out an orb, and you guys all hear the terrible whisperings of evil. Plus three, everyone. Holy shit, mine's a billion. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Yay, 20. Wait a minute. Wisdom saving throw, type in your results. Are saves at disadvantage for me? I'm doesn't, not so it doesn't matter. I don't think so. Okay. It doesn't matter. The worst one's for the one you rolled first is. anyway, so. Wisdom. Plus three. Nice knowing you. I'm sorry, it was a seven. <clears throat> We're all rolling? Yes. Plus three, everybody. Again, I'll say it. Oh, okay, six. Oh, so we're rolling twice. All of no. you... Okay. You last three there. Um, Kalec, Annabelle, and Tidge. As the orb is pulled out here, you hear strange mutterings into your mind, and gradually the world around you seems to warp into some sort of strange hellscape. And you see the... There are, like, faces of the dead that are now appearing on all of the walls of the ruins, and the ground itself is, like, hands reaching for you as though a million graves unturned are now coming after you. And I need the three of you to, using uh, your reactions here, spend all of your movement running away. Okay. Do I have to dash? Uh, no, just a, a full turn of movement. In a random direction, or just... In any direction away from him. So I guess that would technically be towards him, so probably... Okay. As far as I can go. And then, who do I want to stab? Um... I'm going to roll here, and if I get a 1 to a 10, it's a Rillo. Oh, oh you're the lucky Ooh. one, Edgar. Nice. Today I'm sorry, you get buddy. the stab. <clears throat> He's going to have to beat a pretty high AC, but that's true. That's, I think, will do it. I have a couple of de deuces to roll. Damn. Maybe train. Gravy runs the game. Can't remember that. I can't forget that. <coughs> Plus. Oh. Fucking insane. You are stabbed for 42 damage. Okay. I mean, I didn't reset my counter here. I'm up to seven, so now five. His blade is incredibly fast, and though you attempt to block him here using your armor, uh, weapons to parry, and all that, uh, it phases through and moves straight past your armor and seems to pierce like a, a blade of pure shadow that runs through your chest. And let's see, after that, it is your turn, Arillo. What do you want to do? Seeing Edgar, uh, seeing him do that to Edgar, I'm going to make- I'm Are you below half, by the way, Edgar? Through. Sorry to cut you off there. I only have five HP left, so yeah. Okay. All right. So after seeing that, I'm going to enrage. Okay. And now I'm going to make an attack on him. Come on. Big money. Uh, that is a 20. Okay. You hit. Woo -hoo. Bitch. Um, eight. Eight damage. Okay. 
I'll make another attack on him. <gasps> Oof, that was close. Uh, that's 22. 22, that hits as well. Rolling damage. <clears throat> oh, and that's 11. 11, okay. And deck save for him. If he passes, he takes 3 damage. He passes. He takes 3 damage. Okay. Alright. And that is my turn. You slice him a few times, and when you do, he bleeds like a black, oily substance to the ground, but uh, no blood of a normal creature. And Tidge, it's your turn. I need you to make that same saving throw again, please. Wisdom. And if you fail, you will continue running away. No, it's all just checks. So... Is he within the plus three range? I don't know. How close did uh, that have to be to you, Edgar? Nah, uh, it didn't pass. It doesn't uh, He has to be within 30 feet. Okay. Or no, uh, 10 feet. <coughs> <coughs> I assume I just keep running. Yes. And that's your turn. Kalik, it's your turn. Same thing. Saving throw, please. Wisdom. Guys, I'm really sorry. I'm fucking retarded. How's 12? I could 12? have rebuked the violent his attack and did 42 radiant damage right to his face. 12 is it's not enough. Right. You need to continue running away. <sighs> Making bad fucking decisions. I've already claimed one life this week. Maybe I'll get a double kill. I, I gotta fucking step my game up if I'm gonna survive here. Well, it is your turn, Edgar. Now's the time. Okay, uh, Lay on Hands is an action, so I will uh, expend my entire pool and heal myself for 20 HP. Okay. Because um, I used 10 on that Tidge before. Now but here's... It. When you go to heal yourself, nothing happens. And you, f you feel that the spell, like you're, you're unable to even summon the healing energy. So for whatever intents and purposes, you still have it, but you're unable to do it and you spend your action trying to. I'm fucking dead, I don't... Is that your turn? No, it's not my turn. Um... <sighs> Can I divine sense him? Divine no, I can't. It's an action. Sorry. I'm trying to figure out if he's uh, evil or a fiend or undead. Uh -huh. um, but I can't do it. It's an action. Um... I am going to, I'm going to roll, I'm going to roll the dice on this and I'm going to, uh, cast, fuck, I can't even do that. Um, it'll have to be a bonus action, whatever it is. I know. Yeah. I was going to do this, but I'll have to do this instead. I'm going to cast sanctuary on myself with my bonus action. I am warded. Anyone who wants to attack or target me has to make a save of DC 14. Ah, okay. Um, or they lose the the attack, or choose. They have to target. attack something else. Yeah, or they have to attack something before. I think. <clears throat> okay. Oh no! On a failed save, they must choose a new target or or lose it. Um. Okay. And uh, let's see. He must be within five feet of me. Yes, for sure. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, that's my turn. Roll initiative, <clears throat> boys. Ah. Oh, And I could have fucking blasted him for 42 radiant. Oh, and I not won my. It's all going to shit now, boys. Fucking mm -hmm. aids of source wrecks. All right, 
Annabelle, looks like you're first here. I need a wisdom saving throw. If you fail, you just turn and run. Yep. Uh, continue running away for your turn. Next up is this guy here. He's going to try and beat the save to kill you, Edgar. What does he have to beat here? DC 14 wisdom. Okay, let's see what he gets. It, of course it <laughs> Fucking doesn't. Tabletop. Of course it doesn't lean over into a blunt or some shit. So now he has to be the 20 AC. If he does, I die. Does an 11 hit? Does not. Okay. You are saved here. Uh, he will cast a spell as is customary, though. And let's see. Arillo, you and I have plus three. All right. Arillo, with his other hand here holding the orb, he turns to face you and holds it out as though it were some sort of arcane focus. And I need from you a constitution saving throw. Okay, well that's your gem. Plus three on top of it. And you're not oh. 20 it. And I'm at 20. That's okay. awesome. Uh, you take oh. half damage here. That's not very good. You take 12 damage. I'm still holding and... on. A shockwave burst towards you with a scream, and were you not on your footing, would have probably sent you flying back, but you're able to continue standing where you are. And after that, it's your, your turn, actually. What do you want to do? I will make two more attacks on him. Okay. Okay, like, are you feared? You guys are yeah, super yeah. feared. Yeah, I'm feared. 21. 21. You hit. Do you guys think I should nuke the shit out of him with uh, with something or heal myself? Are you guys... Didn't you try healing yourself already and it didn't damage? work? Not yet. I don't know how long that spell lasts. 7 damage? Yep. And now I'm gonna make another <coughs> attack. <Okay. coughs> I don't know if he's got a spell on him. It's just and like he I negated. Hit, so it's only an 8. Yeah, My spell missed. right away. Of course, I drop it down and it turns into a 20. Alright, I'll All right, just rely now, on you guys for healing, I guess. Um, I'm lightning damage. <laughs> Fuck the table! Nice. A 3? Yeah, uh, so you're gonna take that? I'm pretty sure he passes. You get to roll it. Okay, he oh. passes, so he'll take 1 damage. Wait, he beat 19? Or 13, never mind, sorry. Like, since when is your DC 19? <laughs> <laughs> since All I right. upgraded it. Is that your turn? Oh, fuck me. Yeah. Okay. Tidge, what was your roll? Uh, nine. Nope. So you keep running away. And Kalik, you're up. Wisdom saving throw. Please. Oh. 20. The spell breaks, and as you're running down the street of this horrible, hellish landscape, fleeing what looks like some chittering demon creature on the ground, the thing vanishes. And as you look around, you're just standing in the middle of Misty Town ruins. <coughs> you oh, now fuck. have your turn again. What do you want to do? I will uh, turn around. You see Edgar and Arillo locked in blade here with this evil figure. Sorry, just looking over spells. I I can't get close enough. You just so still have I your will... movement, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. I will go ahead and cast Guiding Bolt. Oh. Okay. Roll to attack. I'll move up 30 feet. Cast Guiding Bolt. Okay. Yeah. That's only a 13. 
You miss, unfortunately, and strike the building behind him with the blast of radiant energy. He turns to face you, though, seeing that you've now come back out of the spell. Is that your turn? Yep, um, just moving up 30. Okay. And after Kalik, it looks like Edgar, it's your turn. What do you want to do? Um, screaming out in, in serious pain, um, I'm going to cast, um, as a bonus action, Branding Smite. Ah, okay. And, uh, use that spell slot, and I'm going to take a swing at, uh, this guy right here. Go for it. Please hit, please hit, please hit, please hit. Oh! I think that'll hit. I mean, unless he's got some funky shit going on. Uh, it's plus six, I believe, so 25. You hit him. Roll damage. I am going to expend a smite on top of this. Twice the uh, smite. Twice the smite, and I'm going to cast it at level two. Okay. Um, and is he undead? Absolutely. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to do some mental math here, um, because it's a lot of damage, and... I, I think apologize. you get a bonus d8 for it being an undead for... creature. And, uh, yes, I do, so... It's 2d8 plus 1d8 for the spell slot, plus 1d8 for undead, yep, so that's so 4. 4d8. And then whatever you get for branding smite, and then your weapon damage. So, 48, Branding Smite is, um, 2d6 Radiant. And I'm wielding a sword, which means my longsword is a d8. I think this is everything. Um... And my regular, my, my spell smites don't increase damage against undead, right? It's only my divines? Yeah, those don't change. Okay. Alright, here goes nothing. Not bad. Not bad, I guess. Um, so let's see here. Uh, 18 of this is radiant for sure. Okay. Um, 2d6, 6 of it is Radiant as well, so that's 24 Radiant, uh, and plus 13, so that's, uh, 31 plus, sorry guys, this is, I'm just trying to wrap my head Very around good. this, it's 36 damage. Mm. Okay. 24 of which is Radiant. <clears throat> Where are you hitting him? with your sword. I'm going right across the clavicle and fucking trying to carve it down. Sure. You swing down with your sword and with a powerful divine magic strike him here and you actually hit him so hard that when the light fades it looks like you've managed to slice him in half and he staggers backwards for a moment here and then in an explosion seems to break apart and you watch as a bunch of wisps fly around the air and gradually form into what looks to be like spectral versions, representations of what was once physical standing in front of you. You now see like a, a sort of swirling ghostly version of it multiplied. <sighs> okay. Um, well, I, I did everything I could. Um... I'm going to basically just shrugging and keeled over and barely holding it together. I'm going to uh, spend the rest of my movement to kind of hobble into the doorway okay. and just go deep enough where they'll have to bottleneck if they come after me. And I'm going to kind of lean against the wall like, what the fuck just happened? Sure. This is rubble. <clears throat> keep that in mind. So it's it's like cover, but you're not necessarily in a building. Oh, I got you. I got you. Okay. Well, whatever it's worth. Okay. After that, everybody roll initiative. <clears throat> Happy I was able to get that nuke off, at least if oh, I die. You made that it was... to phase two. <laughs> God damn it. Everyone just rolls that. garbage for I initiative. I got the nap on that time. <laughs> Meanwhile, Is this Annie initiative over here. really five? Oh yeah, it's five. Well, 
Oh, thank God. So if Tidge got five, he would be before. No, Tidge got four. What the fuck are you can smoking I... over there, Annie? Can I ask you a question, uh, Lucian? Um, What's up? When Apple I got juice? stabbed by the sword, um, you said I felt like something come over me, and you you said like I kind of felt that that whatever came over me uh, negated my healing. Do I kind of feel that in effect still? Oh, I see. Um, I would say that uh, you have no idea what caused it, <coughs> so you don't know if that's. I don't know if it was case. the sword or something else. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, just for what it's worth, sanctuary is still up. Cool. It is your turn, Annie. What do you want? Oh, sorry. I need from you the same save again. You got it. You got it, man. <coughs> got these. How wise are you? Oh, zero. <laughs> I am zero wise. Then you continue to run away. Oh, great. And uh, either Edgar or Arillo, either of you can go first. It's your choice. Oh, well, I mean, it was 14, but like, I don't know if you looked at the number and you just asked for that. Uh, 14 is too low. Me. Uh, <sighs> what do you want to do, man? Do you want to go? Oh, it doesn't matter to me. I can go if you like. Yeah, just go Go ahead. Um, Which one has all the damage? I know, I know what I'm going to do, so. Actually, do you want to just think about what you're going to do, and uh, I'll do my thing? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, it's your turn, Edgar. I'm going to attempt to heal myself again. Okay. Using which? Lay on hands? Lay on hands for 20 HP. You burn the action, and nothing happens. Okay. Um, do you have anything for a bonus action? Well, Sanctuary is in Concentration, which is good, and I do have bonus actions. Um... I'm going to cast on myself Divine Favor. Uh, my weapons deal an additional 1d4 Radiant. Is Sanctuary Concentration? It is not. So I can do Divine Favor and this. Nice. <coughs> Alright. Uh, is that your turn? <coughs> uh, is, so is this all flattened, or would it... I mean, I'm sure it would be considered difficult terrain, right? Yes. Okay. Um, is there a high point where I can kind of see Tidge and Kalik? I'd say if you go, like, further towards the center of the rubble, yeah. Okay, so... Difficult terrain is double my movement, right? Yep, so each square is going to cost you 10. Okay, so I'll go, like, here? Yep. Would that be fair? Yep, and you can see your companions here. It looks like Annabelle and Tidge are still running in fear. Calix seems to have come to his senses, though. Cool. I'll, like, steal myself, my shield towards the wisps, but, like, haggard like a motherfucker. Um, and I will end my turn. Okay. Sanctuary. And... You're up, Arillo. I'm going to attack this one here. Okay. Since I have, with my Halliburton. Halliburton, yep. Reach. So, so does a 17 hit. Ah. You strike the thing, but unfortunately, your Halberd goes straight through it and does no damage at all. Just whoosh, like you're slicing through a, a piece of fog. Buddy, uh, I don't have any level 2 spell slots left uh, to make your weapon magic, so I think you're fucked. Uh, your, your, sto <laughs> your storm thing might help, though. Yeah. Do you have anything else? I might. Let me... <coughs> I can breathe underwater. Oh. Not nice. Fuck. Um, at this point, I have to disengage and then go to this building and then try to use my lightning damage to affect this guy. If I disengage, will I lose my rage? You don't need to attack. disengage. They're not. Uh, they're not five feet within you. So unless they oh, have okay. reach, so just, you can just peace. You already used your action to attack. <coughs> you have to use an action to disengage. Yeah, you're not oh, a rogue. Okay. 
I have two actions. Okay. okay. And then. Yeah, bring them to me, why don't you, you fuck? <laughs> Fine, I'll go to the other corner. Each square within the rubble costs you 10, so I'll keep that in mind. Okay, so you go okay. over there. So it's, okay, so now, lightning damage. Please get like. I just killed you, Annabelle, sorry. Oh, that's bad. Wow, that's shit. Alright. Well, if he passes, he only takes one damage. So it gonna... does. No, you round up. I think it's two, right? No, Lucian was Sure, we'll give him two. Okay. Right. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry if, if we've been rounding down this whole time. My bad. Either's well, fine with me. Oh, well, now that you say that, I would have, you know. <laughs> <sighs> Is that your turn? Yep. Okay. Yep. Can't do anything else. Let's see. Edgar, you're very close to death, right? Yes, very, very, very close. The spirits rush around you. Okay. Makes sense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So they, they... they need to be to DC 14. Uh, oh, wait. Um, do sanctuaries stay up after I've been attacked? Uh, yes, yes, but if you it... attack, then it's broken. So wait, 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 wait. I don't think you'd still have Sanctuary. Because you had Sanctuary on you and then you brandishing smited the shit out of them. So you're not Sanctuary yes. anymore. I just wanted to make sure I ha whether I had it or not. So I don't think I do. Yeah, it's down for now then. So you okay. get three attacks coming at you. Yeah. You do have high AC. Oh, but I'm rolling oh, like a motherfucker no. tonight. Uh, that well, middle one is giant. I'm dead, boys. Uh, let's see if you are insta-killed have to be a lot of damage, but yeah. Possible. Uh, so, 20s uh, will 52. hit, right? Like, unnatural 20s will hit? Uh, unnatural 20s will just hit, okay. um, for sure. And uh, he has to hit 52 to insta-kill. Okay, he won't be able to insta-kill you then, but I am certain that with this many d6s you go down. So... Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's, that's there's no doubt. Oh, shit, no, that's the, <laughs> that's the ultimate Edgar. Uh, so, Which Edgar, you are knocked that? down Can here. I see it? Huh? Can I see what the alternate is? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> uh, this one has to use almost all of his movement, but the other ones have most of theirs left, and they will descend upon you, Arillo. And okay. it is your turn, Tidge. Make for me that wisdom saving throw, please. This would be considered a magical effect, right? Uh, yes. Sweet, so with Gnome Cunning, I have advantage. Okay. That I've forgotten about the whole time. Okay, so 13. A 13 wisdom save? Yeah. You are still feared and need to run. Fuck. I clear more Sweet. of the board here. That was I love how this guy incapacitated the majority of our team by just flashing an orb. <laughs> Fuck. We're fucked. We're so fucked. <sighs> I'm dead and no one can heal me. Drawing yeah, a more map here because you guys are going for a stroll. Fuck. Okay, well that, that didn't work out. Uh, let's see here. After Tidge, it's your turn. Kalik, you have your turn. What do you want to do? <clears throat> you can see all these people, by the way, because this is just a mound of rubble. And you watch as they descend on Edgar, and then with a few swipes of their claws, uh, he's dropped to the ground, and now they swoop over to Arillo. Uh, in a moment of panic, I'm going to think about running away and grip my teeth. I'm going to run up towards the rubble, okay. um, and I'm going to shout to Arillo. Um, Arillo, grab his body! And then I'm going to cast Turn Undead. Cast turn undead. What's the save? I, it is a wisdom saving throw. Uh, yeah, wisdom saving throw. I'm gonna move up so they're within 30 feet though. Okay. So. What's the DC? Holy fuck! Oh shit! DC's a 13. Two of them pass. We'll say the closest one to you runs in fear, though, and is currently turned. So that just means it'll move away from you every turn, right? Correct. Okay. And does it get to repeat the save at the end, or just keep going? 
Uh, I'll read it off for you. Scroll back to it, sorry. Uh, as an action, da, 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 each undead has to make wisdom saving. If the creature fails its save, it's turned for one minute until it takes any damage. Okay. Oh, so it doesn't even get another save. That's cool. Okay. A turn creature must spend its turn trying to move as far away from you as it can, and it can't willingly move to a space within 30 feet of you. It can't take reactions for its action. It can only dash and try to escape. If there's nowhere else to move, it can dodge. Okay. So one of them is turned. Is that your turn? Uh, I'm checking if another spell is a bonus action. Quick. Nope, that's an action. Okay. In that case, everybody roll initiative. And I'm going to continue oh. running this way if that's okay. Okay. Um. The <laughs> one time I don't want. Come on. Hey, got the same thing I got last time. Oh, did you get that twenty touch? Yep. Go ahead and make that roll then. Let's see if you break out. Science point to no. Uh, fuck. Who else? Eighteen. Eighteen. You break out of the yeah. spell and have your turn. What do you want to do? All of the illusions disappear, and you see behind you the horrible fight going on. And you see that Edgar has been felled. Uh, in I will activate. Uh, oh shit! Let's see, one, two, three, Super four. Saiyan? I'm gonna run up. <laughs> Fuck. Um, Take I'm gonna your activate sensor beans. Aura of vitality. <laughs> oh my god! What I would pay to have one right now. <laughs> <laughs> Aura of Vitality. Yeah, ah. from Melkor or Mel Murkoth's ring. The ring does not activate, and you burn your action trying to use it. Unless that was a bonus action, in which case no. you burn the no, bonus that action. That would be an action to get it to go. Okay. All right, and then I will try and cast as a bonus, or not? It's not really casting. I'll use my healing light feature to. Um, throw some healing towards Edgar if possible. Okay. You try to heal him, and it does not happen. Sweet. Is that your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Okay. May this I ask one... a question real quick? Yes. I'm looking through Find Familiar. I know it's an action to dismiss it whenever you want. Is yes. it also an action to uh, summon it back? Uh, I believe it so, It doesn't yeah. specify. I think it would be an action to summon it. That's what I need to know. This thing will run away from you. It needs to be at least 30 feet away. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be to the outskirts of here. So it'll run over in that direction. And then, oh, can it attack Rillo as well? One, two, three. It can. So this one's just going to attack Rillo from the other side here. Oh, great. And the others hey, that's are nice. going to mob you. Well... I don't foresee this going. I thought well. it had to get. It can't take the attack action, it right? Oh, yeah. it can't take an attack action. Okay. Can For its action, dash. it can only dash ah. or try to escape from me. I see. That's good. In that case, it will run and then kind of hover on the outskirts here, and it looks kind of like a spirit that's like trying to get back in, but is compelled to to be pushed away from the fight. <clears throat> and meanwhile, you're attacked by two here, Rillo. The power of Kaelic compels you. Oh. Does 19 hit? Fuck. Yes. You take. Uh. You said 16, correct? Yeah. No. No, I said 19. 19. Okay, yes. You take 36 damage from two hits. I am unconscious. Okay. Arillo is downed here as these two swipe at him, and then immediately the two spirits come flying over towards you, Kalik. How much damage was that again? Uh, 36. 36. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in negatives. Okay. That's their turn, and Annie, make for me that wisdom saving throw, please. Nice, nice. Uh, 
Seven. You are continuously spooked and need to run in this direction using your turn. And Edgar, uh, I need from you a death saving throw. Yep. One pass. Uh, win. Okay. Winner, winner, chicken. Keep that, uh, keep track of that. Arillo, a death saving throw from you as well. Okay. Keep track of these. They may become relevant. Oh. Oof. Okay. Fuck you, you Falco. One fail. And everybody, please roll initiative. I was. Hmm? Fucking it. Are you kidding? Wait. What's up? Oh shit, did I skip you? Turn. I definitely yeah, skipped I'm, you, sorry. I'm at the bottom of the initiative. Yeah, for, forget the initiative. It's your turn there, Kalik. My bad. What do you want to do? You are being attacked by these things. I would like to... Fuck. Cast... Darkness. Um, so that it's not on Tidge, and it's more focused over here. But it gets all three of us in it. I hope that works against spirits. Like this? Uh, yeah. A little bit further. Yeah, that way. Okay. And I will take one step here. Ah. You are swiped at by one of them. Does a 24 hit? Yes. You take uh, 19 points of damage as you are slashed here with a pair of terrible um, ghostly claws. Roll concentration real quick. Yeah. Uh, I fail, so darkness goes down, but I am going to cast, as a reaction, uh, Hellish Rebuke. Ah. What save is that for them? Is a. I, I believe it's Dex. Uh, yep, Dex save. Oof. It's 15. I believe I have passed. I don't know, same for you. Oh, I, I failed my save. Okay, so I still roll. I think they take half damage. Okay. Yep, half as much as on a success. And as a tiefling, you get uh, 3d... 10? 3d10! Yep. <laughs> Grandma shouted across the battlefield with an apple in her mouth. Actually, it's a cookie. Jelly. Oh. Half what cookie? Well, 22 damage. So oh, half. I, half of that, 11. Okay. One of them is rebuked by these hellish flames, but still manages to keep its form. It does recoil backwards, clearly having an effect, but the spirit still remains. Is that your turn? Um. Bonus action. I'd be panicking, and I'd probably attempt to cast a uh, healing word on myself. Your healing word does not happen, and everyone roll initiative. Yep. Question. Yes. Um, I had my stone of guards. I didn't use it. Ah, that would have been a good thing to use. Too late to use it then, I guess. Indeed, sir. All right. Another, another four? That's great. <laughs> Has anybody beat a 14? Not unless our rolls from earlier where you tried to skip the game accounts. <laughs> uh, no, sadly. Because I That's fucked awesome. up. Uh, did Annie beat then a 14? No. Yeah, I got a nat 20. That's pretty jank to me. Uh, uh man. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> you, can, you can go first. Uh, <laughs> 
Roll your save. <laughs> As she cries, like, like, I need this. Wow, is it jank though? Huh? Oh shit. It's jank. It is. Oh, should I just re-roll it? Sure. Fuck. No, oh, why would you take that over? Because. That's probably like 32 like a, anyway. A 22. Yeah, she has. <laughs> All like, right, so it really doesn't matter. So you go first. Roll wisdom save here to see if you can escape this spell. That plus 12 is fucking insane. Oh my god, a You're nine. Spooked. Continue running. Great. Next up is the spirits, and they will descend upon you, Kalik, and attack. Kalik's dead. We're fucked. It's the TPK, guys. Uh, they both hit. They both hit. Annie, Annie can't kill them even if she gets unfeared. And Tidge isn't going to be able to one-shot two of these spirits. And apparently we can't get healed for shit, so... Uh, the first <sighs> one strikes you for 14 damage. And the second what one kind hits of, you. What kind of damage? Uh, just regular. Or, sorry, not regular. Um, that's my bad. Uh, probably necrotic damage. And the second one is 17. I'm down. Okay. Kalik is downed, and the two spirits come flying over towards you, Tidge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the bees. And... Arillo, death saving throw, please. All right. Oh, you can summon the bee thing. That's true. Yeah, I can. Probably come right after me. Now we're... Now, well, That's now that we're fail. all dead. The odds mm -hmm. are... Titch, it's out. your turn. I might die. I might die. Alright, I'm gonna cast Thunderstep. No. I'm gonna cast Thunderstep, which allows me to teleport myself up to 90 feet away. Okay. After which, anything within 10 feet of me has to succeed a constitution saving throw of... 13, probably. Let's see... Uh, 14. Okay. Otherwise, take 3d10 damage. Alright, and where are you teleporting to? I'm gonna jump right in between... Won't that deal damage Actually, to no. your friends? No, anyone within 10 feet of the spot that I left. Oh, okay. Alright, um, I'm gonna roll that so it's con save 14. Yeah, and Let's... I'm gonna pop, like, right... So I'm within 60 feet of these two. Okay. Roll damage, please. Oh, I'm so fucking nervous. <laughs> one of them has passed and one of them has failed. <laughs> Alright, so... <clears throat> two and then I need to roll one more afterwards. So, oh, awesome fucking... Yeah, three. Is that a... No, that's another d10. Great. Fucking, what? Five damage. Okay. Um, in vain, um, I'm gonna, let's see, five, 10, 15, 20, 20, 50. Can I like appear on like the roof of this building? Sure. So that I'm still with it, like at an angle within 60 feet of these guys? Yep. And then, in vain, I'm just gonna throw. Uh, I just, first off, I assume that uh, a the crown of madness just failed before, like the spell was expended and yes. he just auto passed, and that the features from before obviously are gone. The features, sorry. The healing light. It's a class. You still feature. have your healing light, but it didn't go off. You just lost that okay. part of your turn. Basically, you couldn't summon up the magic. Just lost the time. Oh, fuck. He's really close. In vain, I'm still going to try and cast, or use it on Arillo. Okay. I'm still going to try three. You try again, but the healing does not work. And is that your turn? Uh, yeah. Kalik, please make for me a death saving throw. And pray the bees don't take you. 18. Okay, one pass. Edgar, death saving throw. Yes, sir. That's one fail, and I think you have, what, one pass? 
Yep. Everybody roll initiative. <clears throat> oh, now I get above a 10. Oh, thank God, I'm getting low now. I didn't first. roll very well. Alright, you're first, Annie. What do you want to do? Or rather, make for me a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, I was gonna say. <clears throat> do I have a choice? What the fuck? Can I just roll that for- it's an 8. Can I roll that for my initiative? And then, that'd be great, you know? <laughs> no, gotta roll these high numbers for initiative. Don't Edgar, worry. Edgar, Calic, which one of you wants to die first? I mean, I'll- it doesn't matter, I'll just roll. Okay. We'll just roll it together. Another fail. Not 20. Oh. Calic, you awake yeah, with a single what? HP, and you have your turn. You are not the bees. <clears throat> what do you want to do? Would you they are... have noticed me? You are laying on the ground, and it <coughs> looks like the spirits know that you are uh, conscious, and are looking towards you, and also towards Tidge, who appears to be on a building nearby. Okay. I will... Where can I cast this at a higher level? By the way, Annie, if it means anything, Twitch has said, Annie, you can do it. <laughs> Maybe you'll just run away from the whole fight. <laughs> Be the only one who lives. <laughs> the, the, one, the only reason it's not a TV case because Annie <laughs> just ran like a Kenyan during the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell your story! Yeah. <laughs> I was traveling with this guy that cut a decap. We'll build a new <laughs> Thursday says, you. just go to sleep Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> I will... <clears throat> my items. <clears throat> uh, in a panic... I'm not knowing where Annie is. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you remember that special necklace I crafted? Mm hmm I used my tokens for? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna... I'm gonna activate that. Ah, so you can send a message to her. Nope. It's just to tell which direction she's in. Ah, you can tell that she is across the building here and in this direction. Okay. So I will use half my movement to stand up. Yep. And I'll flip both these guys the bird okay and i'm gonna run in the wow. opposite direction to try to take them with me okay run down the alley Wait, was really sure that. all right is that your turn and so oh. that would have been an action to activate no. or no i don't know what we settled on it for uh, roll luck if you have an 11 or higher so 50 percent chance it's a bonus action Okay, I'm gonna use the big one. Ah, you still have your action. I want to cast Guiding Bolt at second level. Okay. Roll the attack. Uh, okay. For a second, I thought you were flipping. Fucking uh... another four! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you you whiff super hard. And after that, Tidge, it's your turn. It looks like Kalik miraculously awakes. He grabs his necklace for a moment and then goes running down the alley while shooting a magic beam behind him that misses. Okay. Over here, this spirit hovers, doing nothing, still turned by some sort of strange holy magic, where the other two look like they're about to devour Kalik. Or perhaps come so, after you, who knows? So even though Kalik went down, that one still abated. Yes, it looks like he's still turned. In which case, I am not even remotely close enough to fucking attack those guys. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Give him the, the Warlock special. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, right. Um, the bee. The bee. <laughs> oh, no. 
The beat will go immediately for Kalik. I'm gonna cast Sacred Flame on the this one. one. Okay. Dexterity I can't save reach the throw. Other one. Ja. They have a good dex pass. save. Probably. Uh, does a 15 pass? God! Yeah. Okay. That's an action, uh, bonus action. I guess I'll use magic stone, which allows me to take three of the stones in the pouch that I carry with me into magical items that okay. I can hurl 60 feet and they do fun damage or whatever. Very nice. After that, the two spirits are going and they will descend upon you, Kalik. Good. And they make two attacks. Oh, one of them's a whiff. <gasps> Uh, that next one is definitely going to hit you, given that you only have one HP. You are down. I go down. Down, but not up. Turned bees once again. These things come running towards you. And are currently hovering above the ground, flying in your direction. And everybody, please... Oh, wait, no. Arillo, death saving throw. How many... What do you have right now? What? What do you have right now? Two deaths. Save, or two failures. Two fails? Okay. If you roll no. fail here, you are dead. I can't look. Come but on. I have to. Oh, no. Good night. Arillo, <laughs> you are dead. Roll initiative, everybody. Okay, like you can go first. <clears throat> All right, make the wisdom saving throw there, please, Annie. Just keep running. Just Aww. keep running. I was gonna switch my dice, but I'll we'll just go with that. <laughs> she is fine. Right. You are still spooked. What? Well, there's nowhere else to run. Where am I just gonna? Off the map. Well, we'll just say that you're like over here. And the two spirits having felled you there, Kalik, will fly over towards you, Tidge. Mm-hmm. And kill him. Make a couple of attacks on you. Oh, the TPK. Uh, one of them's probably a miss at a 12. Mm-hmm. Oof. Oh, I'm sure that misses. Yeah, that'll be fun. And you take 33 damage. Dunzo. All right. You pass out on the roof there, and the spirits go flying off. And a death saving throw from you, please, Kalik. <laughs> One fail. Fail. Edgar. and Arillo. Oh my god. He's alive! Tidge, you have one HP, and the spirits look like they are leaving you and flying off. It is your turn. What do you want to do? Uh... B, 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 B. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'll just toss the... I'll do the button that, uh... Summons the f the demon wasp. And I'll just okay. toss it in between them. <coughs> All right. <coughs> and then I'm gonna fucking bolt. Okay. To the other side of the roof. Leaking blood everywhere. You go turning, running over the crest of the roof, and back down the other side. And you hear behind you, but don't actually see what sounds like a portal, some sort of rift to hell opening behind you, and then the sound of some sort of horrible bee. You know that were Kalik alive right now, he would probably just die anyway from seeing the thing. Um, do you have the token for that? Because I think we uh, gave you a little... There's a, there's a wasp over here. Yeah, we'll use that. I thought I gave you a little mechanical one. But yeah, there is a wasp demon here. So, there we go. And... What the hell is uh, that, is that your turn, Tidge? Uh... 
Is here? I'd be here. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess I'll try to. No, healing words. Healing light's not gonna do shit. Screw it. I'll do it in vain, and it's not gonna work, right? Yes, it will not Great. work. Uh, that is everything then. Everybody, Fuck. roll initiative, Fuck. please. Roll for your B. All right. Tell me it does ridiculous damage. Okay. I'm going to use the luck thing as the B. All right. Uh, it looks like you're first, Danny. Wisdom saving throw. Oh my god, a 17. <laughs> you passed this and are now uh, able to take your turn. Off oh, in the great. distance, Run. hovering above one of the buildings, you see what looks like a demonic wasp. It is large enough that it could easily pick up on its own a carriage. And the back end of it is a long and pointed abdomen that ends in a stinger that is like a, a saber that could easily pierce through a man. And all around it is like a warbling purplish energy that seems to ooze off of the thing. Its eyes are like a shifting color, like a whole bunch of uh, sort of like oily um, different shades that are like moving atop one another. And it looks like it's in combat with two spirits. No way. <laughs> Just keep going. Yeah. I will say Can that I you hide? see Tidge like running on a roof. <laughs> or. If you want to call whatever I was doing running. Yes. <laughs> I How mean. Tall is... Can I like. F okay. I would like to find a place to hide that I can still see everything that's going on. You It'd could probably use, like, the corner there. of the building. I can't get there, right? Uh... Well, I can dash. Yep. Can, wait, no. Can I bon a bonus action dash and then use my action to hide? Absolutely. Roll stealth. Spirits and the bee. Okay. You hide over there, and it doesn't look like any of the creatures there are paying any attention to you. Is that your turn? Um, can, it, like, can I see the rest of my party? party? I just see Ch Tidge, right? Uh, yes. From this angle, Tidge is all you can see, yes. Okay, and the creepy bee. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, after that, the spirits will make a set of attacks on the bee creature. I was super afraid they were just going to be buddies. <laughs> oh, Tim, you're here. Hey, guys, what's up? I'm out too now. <laughs> okay, so a six and a one. Uh, they both miss the bee creature here, and afterwards, Kalik, a death saving throw. Oh my That's fucking god, what are you guys doing here? I've <laughs> never seen so many spontaneous... You awake to see your fucking nightmares. And up there in the sky is a wasp so large that it it's like... This thing could stab an elephant and kill it instantly kind of thing. <laughs> it has like an evil purple magic that leaks from it. And its eyes are warbling colors. And it seems to be locked in a fight with the two spirits here. What do you want to do? Does it look friendly? <laughs> like like something I could ride off into the distance? <laughs> you could Make certainly my... try. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, man. I was not expecting this. I was not prepared to get back up. Okay. Um... I will, well, obviously spend half my movement to stand up. Okay. Good point. 
I will move 15 feet this way. 5, 10, 15. Okay. Oh, baby. I would like to use my... Fuck, I can't do that. So I'm aware that healing spells don't work. Every time you've tried one, it just doesn't work. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm familiar I'm with, some, with schools of magic. And I know Spare the Dying, which is more, I believe it's uh, necrotic in nature. Spare the Dying? Yeah, I believe it's a necromancy It's a necromancy spell, spell yep. Yeah. It doesn't yep. heal. Yep, I know. It would just stabilize somebody. Uh huh. Would I think. You have no idea. School, okay. I will. Please! <laughs> <laughs> I'll snap my fingers and a raven will appear right next to Edgar. Okay. And that's my action. Okay. Do you have any bonus actions to make or is that your turn? Um, bonus action, I will just take the puzzle box from my bag and have it ready. Okay. Have it wrapped up. In the wasp makes a set of attacks on the spirits here, missing one of them, but hitting the other, it insta kills the thing with a single oh, jab. Fuck. Wahoo! Oh, oh my over. god! If if I die from our own <laughs> creation, I'll be way less mad. <laughs> and Edgar, it's your turn. A death saving throw, please. What are you yeah, at right now? A, suck a dick. It's two two. Uh, bases are loaded. Oh no! Uh, this is the full spell. I didn't realize you were two two. Yeah, oh, I was I was 1-2 uh, when I rolled the last time. I could have died last time. That's why I was like, oh, shit. Full count, boys. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I look at oh, every side of 17 is a fail. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're still alive. It looks like we lost the mountain boys, though. Is it normal that I came? <laughs> <laughs> we might have to wait a minute for uh, Steve and Mike to come back here. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, well, we're going to go to a, a brief waiting screen while we wait for uh, our, our two others to come back, because they have just dropped. <coughs> oh, like drop dropped. Yep. Oh, shit. They dropped out of tabletop. You can see it there at the same time. <coughs> I'll get some water then uh, and clean myself off. I'll yeah. Be right back. You do. So, we're at three net 20s for standing up from death saves. What? Yeah. This fight is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, there they are. There they dropped. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> Look at all the salt. <laughs> <laughs> if the spirits don't kill us, the bee will. The table's up. Can you guys oh. hear me? Hey! Hello. Okay. He's back. Yeah, my internet just crapped out for some reason. Yeah, you guys both dropped. Alright. What was the last thing you guys heard? Uh, it's bottom of the ninth and the bases are loaded. And the roll is about to happen. Oh, for Edgar? For Edgar. Yeah, we missed Bad his news. I don't hear I don't him know. talking, so... Maybe you're just gonna have to wait till the end of the break. Ah... Uh, well, in that case, I'm gonna take a piss. <laughs> oh, we're taking a break? Fuck. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, let me pee, then. I'll go do that, too. Here, be.
I muted my mic and then slammed my head on the desk and then yelled, Vok. Hmm. Oh my god. So what happened? Because it cut out as you were about to roll. I I roll a, a save and I lived. Nice. Well, we can still revive you, FYI. Oh, you can? Yeah, man. How long do we have, though? The longer it is, the more cash it takes, but we have, we can oh, do it. Yeah. Like, all we have to do really is shove them into the puzzle box and fucking hop skip to, um, to the nearest town where we're wanted, bite the bullet, and just fucking dump our cash into a Rillo. I think we can do it. <clears throat> if we get out of this fight. I mean, for all I know, this thing splits off into nine other fuck off things, so. Just say there's an odd <clears throat> and there's. <clears throat> A murder bee that's not going to be satiated by <coughs> two more uh, little wispy dudes. All right. Plus, who knows if I can get hidden in time to, uh, if I well, can even get off this roof. First of all, I mean, we've never used it. We we assume it, it's 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 going to murder us, which I think is a fair a fair assumption. Um, mm. That being said, it does expire after how long? Um, an hour? Where no the fuck way. did the card go? I can't, it can't be an hour. That'd be fucking crazy. What's that <clears> crazy? Goddamn card go. Oh, that, no, that's... Sorry, uh, Caleb? I'm or Connor? What's crazy? Oh, um, he said that it might take an hour for the B to go down, but he wasn't sure. And I was like, that'd be fucking crazy if it was around for that long. God damn it. <clears throat> I wasn't... Oh, man, I wasn't aware of how many uh, death saves you're at. Yeah. So I was going to summon my familiar and cast uh, Spare the Dying through that. It no, I know. That's why I saw it and I was like, I hope Spare the Dying can like, but I, I realized it couldn't. So yeah. I was like, oh, fuck, it's one turn too late. Are yep. we good to go here? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I think yeah. we're all here. Annie, you back, Ashley? Nope. Yeah, I'm back. Okay, oh, here we go. Husband. I'll meet my <coughs> Tidge, it's your turn. What do you want to do? Um, child. I would like you to also make for me a perception check, please. Oh, right. You have a disadvantage on everything. I know <laughs> nothing. Okay, you know nothing. What do you want to do? It's your turn. Uh, how high is this roof? Also, is there a chimney nearby? Uh, da, 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 da. I would say that there is a chimney. <clears throat> yes. Is this like a two-story thing or a single-story? Two-story house. Yeah, great. How tall is this one? <laughs> Four stories. A two-story house. Sweet. Um. Does that chimney look like something I can clamber into? It does. Can I try and clamber into it? You can. I would like I you would to like make to for me an athletics roll, please. This is gonna kill me. If you fail this roll, you will slip down the chimney. Uh, I'm pretty sure <laughs> I fail it. With probably... <clears throat> and I fail it anyways. <clears throat> I only get... Yeah. Okay. An unnatural one. An unnatural one. You clamber into the chimney here and try and maintain yourself pressing against the two sides, but with only a sliver of health left, you are unable to do so and slip and tumble down. And then darkness takes you. And everybody roll initiative, please. This is for our spirit friends. Oh, they didn't roll very good. And then for the B, to end all of these. <coughs> Jesus Christ, that one went on a little journey. <laughs> uh, I have no spiky oh. boys. Oh, I do. Here they are. 
Zero and two unconscious. All right, Annie, you're up. You are hiding around the corner here. You see Tidge run up, and he goes to the chimney, and then you hear a slide and like a. <laughs> this is a disaster. I don't want to like. You also saw yeah. the bee kill one of the spirits, and it looks like it's going for the next one. Yeah, but then there. Can I see this one over here? It continues to hover there. Wow, but can I see it? Uh, I would say yes. Okay. Um. Can I hold my action? <coughs> to do what? How the fuck am I first? I rolled a fifteen. Come on! You have plus 30 to your <laughs> initiative! <laughs> what do you want to hold? Uh, or do you want to just hold your turn? Can I just hold my turn? Sure. Yeah, you can take it off and reintroduce whenever. Tidge, a death saving throw, please. Okay. <laughs> Roll a 20 and wake up in the chimney. <laughs> Alright. No! Oh no! <laughs> okay. That's Ooh. Two fails. That's two fails. Uh, Edgar, you're stable, right? Yeah, do yep. you want me to roll a d4? Uh, no, no. Uh, okay. let's see here. Uh, first is the spirit, <coughs> which makes an attack on your B. And... Kill it. Oh, it hits. Let me see here. While d6 is hanging around. Makes a decent hit against the B. Next up, Kaelic, it's your turn. What do you want to do? You're running around the corner here. The Battle of the Century is still happening, and you saw Kaelic go up into the chimney, and then... <coughs> oof. You saw yourself. Or, sorry, God. Titch. Um... Check my spell slots. I will... I'm going to move another 30 feet mm -hmm. away. Run, Tiefies, run. I will cast <coughs> Guiding Bolt at <coughs> the one that the bee is combat with. Uh huh. Okay. I will cast that at second level. Alright, make an attack. I swear to God. Fucking what? <laughs> Dude, there's something fucking wrong in that house you're in. I don't know if you and Ashley are in the same place, right now, but it is fucked. It's haunted. Your dice are super stopped, haunted. And you fucking need to stop canning apples, because I think it's the cause of it. <laughs> All right. It's you starting know to affect your health. Nothing to do with apple canning. <laughs> this is no, the no, apple no, no. canning intervention. I have if I, if, if there is one Since correlation. Yeah, but you know what? She's been planning this canning of apples for months. <laughs> You've brought evil into this house, woman. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, is that your turn, Kaylin? Oh, she admits it! God <laughs> wills it! God <laughs> wills it! <laughs> Killer, God wills it! Wow, I'm at a loss. Tales fault! Is that it? Uh, the raven will peck Edgar <coughs> to check. If he's still with us. I take one HP damage, and I'm back <laughs> into the middle. <laughs> Alright, it's the wasp's turn here. <coughs> and it kills another spirit in a single hit. And then it flies over towards the next living thing. And it descends upon this one, and makes an attack. The thrumming of its wings grates on your mind as the thing gets closer towards you, Annabelle. It makes an attack and yeah. kills the next spirit, leaving nothing but the terrible wasp behind. After that, <laughs> though, something interesting happens. <clears throat> when the final spirit is struck down, a great earthquake begins around you all. And... Great. <laughs> because why not? Uh, Annabelle, it's your turn here. The wasp has flown over, stabbed the spirit, and now it looks like it's surveying the area. It pauses and kind of looks around. Hidden around the corner here, you're not sure of what to do, 
but then you feel the ground begin to shake underfoot. Um, yeah, okay. I would like to to just watch the building and and prepare to dodge. I'm not gonna. No way. This bee is not happening. It, it's your friend, by the way. You should. It know is that. not my friend, and I'm not going to go pet it. You can just take that idea. Just go say hi. No way. No way. It doesn't disappear. It disappears after a certain amount of time, doesn't it? Isn't that yeah, what 24 we hours. Oh my, what? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just... <laughs> I don't know where my card went to. <laughs> that reaction, though. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's still your turn, oh, Annie. What do you want to do? I want to stay hidden until the bee flies Do away. nothing? Or, yeah, no, yeah. Let Titch die. Okay. It's cool. Well, I don't- he's no in one... the chimney! I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm so kidding. I know there's nothing you can do, Jesus Christ. Okay, so I mean, you wait out your turn. Cool. Everybody but roll initiative. Healing doesn't oh. work, apparently. Sweet fuck. I mean, the I four hours have gone by, right? I'm like, I'm up. I'm Another up. four! <laughs> <laughs> I really we should get a fucking stat tracker at the astronomically bad luck that he's fucking having right now okay it looks like our buddy's first um, what are the odds Annie you're holding your turn so anytime <clears throat> that you feel like going just go ahead and uh, tell me okay buddy first, B is or, first yep it's the B first and let's see, okay, so he flies over here, right up next to your familiar, and stabs it, killing it instantly. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. After that, he turns and surveys the area, and then locks eyes with you, Kalik. Oh, oh, fuck! No, 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 we no, no, no. We created no. you! We please! No. <laughs> After that, Titch, you have two fails and no passes. You are at the You're bottom exactly. of the chimney, probably impaled on, like, the little thing they put inside Dude, the chimney please. There. Please, please. Oh my, oh, god. Oh, oh my god! He's still with us. God wills it. <laughs> god wills it. <laughs> god wills it. Uh, Annabelle, uh, you're still passing your turn. Um, oh, Calic and Edgar. I guess uh, Calic, since you're still alive, what do you want to do? Run. Oh, I'm gonna scream. Annie, I'll be in the puzzle box. Oh shit! He's <laughs> done with a squeak toy! <laughs> are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do the puzzle box? <clears throat> yeah, I'm already holding it. Okay, you already have the puzzle box. You look at the thing, you've never solved a puzzle so fast in your life. <laughs> You're gone. <laughs> Thank God! And, uh, Edgar. The bee destroys the box. <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to live in this box. I can create my own food and water. You appear in I'm the fine. study, and after that, everybody roll initiative. <clears throat> Sweet Jesus. <laughs> so I'm gonna just flip you over just to show that you're in the box here. Yep. Uh, okay. <laughs> Kinda wish my, my token was full on laser beams when I smited that fuck. I love it. I Annabelle, love it so you have much. heard the call here. Are you going to do anything? You going to keep waiting? Yeah. Wow. The bee hovers over in the direction of Kayla here, perplexed, and hangs out over there. Okay. I still can't well, believe she's just going to die from a. No, a I was. I, I'm going over there now. <laughs> Dude, even if I live, like, what's the benefit? <laughs> Most epic death. <laughs> How'd you die? Oh, you know. E evil spirits from a boss mob. Oh yeah, <laughs> I fell down a chimney. Oh, there you go. So so after we defeated them, I fell into a pit. Oh, here here's the fun thing about the wasp. It, it, <laughs> it consumes anything until it's slain or satisfied. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Not the bees! Not the there's, bees! There's no time limit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh no! Not the bees! What have we done? 
<laughs> we have unleashed I mean, the greater <laughs> evil. <laughs> Whose <laughs> idea was it to put Way it in worse a bee? Than <laughs> Way worse. <laughs> Could you imagine this fucking TPK is a party straight up? <laughs> Fuck. I'm terrified. Oh no. Are you gonna do anything there, Annabelle? I don't, want, I don't want any of the bee juju. I, I just wanna. Can I make my way over to Tidge without making. It, well, without it seeing me? Maybe. Would you like to roll stealth? Yeah. Okay. Roll stealth. Oh my god. B will roll perception. Bad, 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 bad. Um, Mediocre. 17. Ah, okay. Go ahead and move your movement. <clears throat> the B does not appear to see you. Dude, if it does, you're so fucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Do I have to roll stealth every oh, time? No. I'm just gonna Whenever die. you want to move? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Oh, great. Okay, so you go ahead and shuffle along, and next up is the bee's turn. It flies over here, and then looks around at the puzzle box, pawing at the thing for a moment, and then turns around. <laughs> and Annabelle, you watch as the thing flies off into the distance to go and fucking <laughs> destroy the world. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Guys, we just lost a Sovereign Stone. Oh that was no. worth a thousand gold. <laughs> now, at this point, because there's no way you're gonna get to him in time, we need to go through all of Kalik, or sorry, all of Tidge's death saving throws here. Oh, throws? Oh, there's no way I fucking. God survive. wills it. God, God wills, wills it. it. You have two fails, God one pass. It. God wills it! Yeah! Oh, God oh. wills it! God wills it! One more. This is it. Two fails, two passes. Please, I need this. Oh, oh, broken print. Oh. <laughs> God willed it. You run up into the building, Annabelle, turning the corner in towards the <laughs> living room to find Tidge's dead corpse there laying in the middle of the chimney covered in soot. And we will end the session there. Oh, no. Of course the brothers fucking die. <laughs> oh, cool. I got a 20 and a 19 on the injury roll, too. Fuck. Can I roll my injury? We'll do that in a bit here. Ah. Uh, God willed it. So. If only you were a follower of Metri and not the librarian. <sighs> now with that, uh, I would like to thank all the players. There were some questionable decisions made, but <laughs> you've you managed to solve uh, some pretty big puzzles from. Uh, stuff that Monday group had to deal with that they quickly turned from. You guys managed to beat that. And you also defeated the great evil that Monday unleashed on the world and then unleashed your own. So, congratulations. <laughs> 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 the cycle continues. You, uh, have have, you have to have a neutral effect on the world. You can't so, take one evil away so and not present was, another. Yeah. What was the evil yeah. that, that Monday unleashed? Just to fill we'll go over effect. that during the break. Some of you have okay. survived. Some of you have uh, perished. Um, but we, we do live back. in a world where people can be yeah, brought back from the dead. So who knows? Maybe you'll manage to do that. Uh, to the audience, thanks for coming by. Uh, I know it wasn't the TPK you all dreamed of, you bloodthirsty <laughs> bastards. Um, but we did get about half the party. And... Uh, to all the patrons, couldn't do it without you. Thank you so much, and we'll see you tomorrow for Thursday's uh, clusterfuck of a session. Adios. Oh, is Thursday back on? I oh. thought they were not able to play. Uh, no, Thursday is another... good. A Tuesday oh. missed this week because they were down a oh, guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, down two guys actually. So, so what happened with Monday? Oh, Monday, Monday, Monday. I'm gonna kill stream first. Peace out, stream. Peace I can't out. believe we survived. Yeah. Some of well, us. I survive. thought it was a TPK. <laughs>